right now. What are we going to have here? Uh, we got uh, uh, Bernard King, uh, Terry Catledge, Tyrone Bowes, Moses Malone, and Jeff Malone in the starting lineup. And uh, all right, the tip is controlled by Boston. All right, Danny has the ball. Danny got the tip from. Uh, from Robert and goes slowly up to the top. Now to Robert, back over to Fred. Now on the left now goes quickly over to Danny. Danny up top now to Larry Bird. In the in the pivot it goes over to Fred and then if Fred misses the shot, I think he got no opposition at all. He was a little surprised by that because his timing was off. Now the shot is missed from the corner by the King and uh, the rebound is put in. Jeff Malone. Two zip the score. All right, quickly it goes DJ. DJ up top now quickly over to Parrish. Parrish on the right now to Bird. Underneath it goes to Danny posting up on the little guy. He tries to feed off to Robert Parrish, and Robert uh, just dropped the ball out of bounds. Well, Malone had left Parrish to pick up on Danny Ainge, and Robert took off for the lane, but the uh, pass was there, and Robert just couldn't handle it. Uh, the kid they like to call Muggsy is uh, bringing the ball up. He's on the left. And it wears number one. And the number one takes up his entire back. I don't think they could fit a double digit in his back. <laughs> All right, now quickly, King went on a headlong drive to the hoop, and he got fouled as he went in. Well, tried to split the defense in the lane and got nailed in the process. So Boston again gets a little bit slowly, and uh, they trail two zip, and their first two play sequences were not sharp. Ah, uh, the shot by King is missed. Well, I think, go again. I think it was interesting that they got the ball immediately. Larry, of course, who really operates that offense, got the ball immediately on that first possession to, to, uh, to Roberts, trying to get Fred into the offense immediately. All right, now two misses by Bernard, and quickly it goes over to Fred. Fred gets uh, the ball to Larry. Larry fills it. That ties it up. Well, Larry says, you want to sharpen up the offense? I'll take a 20-footer. Now quickly, Muggsy brings the ball up. Now quickly, it goes to Malone outside, and he's got a new dimension. He's taking an outside shot. Now quickly, Danny picks the ball up off the floor. Perfect pass, touchdown. Notice the result, though, was not a positive one at the other end for Moses, so maybe that's not his new dimension. Four to two the score, as Robert Parrish got the perfect pass from Danny Ainge and hit the touchdown. All right, on the right now, quickly, it is Tyrone Bowes. Up top now, it goes to Jeff Malone. Now to... Uh, Bernard King goes baseline and hits. 4-4 four, four the score. Uh, right now, quickly, he goes on the left over to Danny Ainge. Danny looks. Fred Roberts is set up in the pivot, and he gets the pass. He's being guarded in there by Catledge. And swings to the glass and misses the shot, gets the ball back, goes to the left, throws it up, misses that. Catledge had the rebound. Now quickly it goes to Muggsy. Muggsy goes to the foul line. Back over to Catledge. Just spinner. And he lays it in. And he got fouled. Larry Bird from behind. Catledge with a spinning move on the right baseline. Perfect pass to set him up by the little guy, Tyrone Bogues. And Bird will pick up his first personal foul. Bogues just brought that ball down. Looked like he was going to take the jump shot from foul line right. And found Catledge free for a split second of the baseline at Bird. Picking up over the shoulder, commits the foul. All right, Terry Catledge at the line. He dips. He's, uh, he misses. And the rebound goes to Robert. A deflected pass gets to Danny. Danny almost lost the ball, but gets recovers it and goes to DJ. Back to Danny. Three-point land on. The shot's no good. The rebound goes. Jeff Malone quickly goes out to Muggsy Bogues. He goes to the right. Now, uh, back up top now. It goes to King in the pivot on the left side. It goes back to King as King was driving from uh, Moses, and uh, King got fouled. No, this is going to be an illegal defense. It's going to be a Danny. That was an illegal defense, and so there's no foul involved, and Danny is arguing with Jess Kersey. He will not win that argument. Well, I didn't see Danny cheating over on the other side, double on the weak side, so I'm not really sure exactly what they're calling on that illegal defense. But Danny looked to me like he was on his man. I. Well, they called it, and that's the way it's going to stand, and a uh, 20-second timeout has been called. Now, the Celtics are now starting to argue it. Casey Jones and Jimmy Rogers now asking what the problem was, where Danny was, and I think Jess Kersey is simply saying, well, I saw him a couple of areas away. I, unless my eyesight is going, I thought, and we don't have a video replay of that uh, play, I thought Danny was with his man, and I was watching him, so... 
Well, but officials are never wrong, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Except they're worth for. I think uh, those are arguments you just can't win. <laughs> and no, you can't win them. Matter, uh, of, matter of fact, if you argue, sometimes you lose twice. <laughs> yes. Yes, they, they throw a little embellishment on your loss. Yeah. <laughs> I'm known as a technical foul. <laughs> On the left now, quickly it goes over to King. Now in the pivot to Malone, back over to King. King is uh, cruising down the lane, misses the shot. As they shut him off, Parrish almost traveled, came perilously close to traveling after he got the rebound, but he didn't. All right, now quickly they swing it around to uh, Bird. Now to Parrish on the left side, guarded by Moses, up fakes, fires, and hits. 6-6 six, six to score. Moses is very anxious to block a shot, always, and uh, you can get him up in the air sometimes. Now, Jeff Malone cruises in the lane, misses the shot. Bird has the rebound. Loose ball foul called against Washington. Fascinating thing is to watch the way the Celtics are picking up on Bogues. He is so quick to break out of the pack. Instead of a man set to guard him, whoever is back there, whether it be DJ or Ainge, he's the guy that picks up on him immediately. All right, now quickly it is DJ. DJ goes to the left now to Parrish. Back out to Fred. Fred on the right now to DJ. DJ holds the ball. Post up by Danny on both. And he goes baseline, fires it up, and hits. That's what they've got to do. They've got to exploit that height advantage that uh, Danny has. Eight to six to score. They're going to get Muggsy involved in the defense and uh, take advantage of him if they can. Take him down low. They want to keep the ball away from him in the open floor because he's a noted plagiarist when he goes out there. He can really pill for the basketball. All right, he hit the, the outside shot. Now Danny drives on him and scoops it in left-handed. So it's eight to eight, to, ten to eight to score. Boston is out front by two. Two things Danny does though, by taking him down the low hole, he's got a much better shot of getting that uh, that shot off. And the second thing is, Bogues is slow breaking out of the pack if he misses. Well, you can't take the he can't take advantage of his speed in the open uh, court, you know, and uh, that's what they want to keep away keep him away from. Now Moses Malone underneath, up fakes a couple of times, gets rejected, gets it back. Power beat the rebound is no good, and Danny Ainge got the ball and then lost it out of bounds. Well, Fred wasn't looking. He was trying to swing it out to Fred on the wing, and Fred was taking off and not looking back for the pass. All right, King gets the ball over to Bogues, and Danny giving Bogues the entire outside. Boy, he's just roaming around out there like a, a guy in a pasture. Now his high pass is lost by Catledge, but Catledge gets it back. Now it goes to Bogues. Bogues is up top and misses. Rebound by Moses. Bulls in for the rebound is no good. Boy, the physical contact in those rebounds is unbelievable. Parrish gets this next one. Now quickly goes to Fred Roberts, and they strip him. Bogues has it. All right, Bogues goes to the foul line. Alley-oop pass to Moses is overthrown. And so we're seeing a lot of sloppy play right now. Moses is a little bit irritated because he is not getting the whistles that he normally gets. He took 23 free throws last night which is the norm for him. He's not getting those calls here tonight. All right, now quickly, Danny. Cross court, it goes to Fred. Fred underneath now to Larry, and Larry got fouled as he went into the layup. He did not make it, but he's going to go to the line. He had the mismatch with the little guy, Tyrone Bogues, and Bogues just grabbed him as Bird was going up. Moses says something as he's walking off to Jess Kersey because Moses right now on the offensive boards is not getting the calls that he normally does get. We've got a lot of missed opportunities and some poor shot selection. Still a lot, well, not a lot, but there's still some empty seats. In fact, there are rows, two and three rows at a time of empty seats here in this building. And people are still filtering through the turnstiles, so we can only assume that they had one of their typical traffic jams. They don't often get them here, but then again, they don't get sell out well, crowds that often. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a long time to get here from Europe. <laughs> and the shot is good by Bird. Or to get here from Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost impossible to get here from Virginia. The shot is good by Bird. We'll have to give that story yeah. some night of that cab ride that you and I had when we toured oh, four, four that states was coming out to this place. <laughs> that was wonderful. I mean, imagine a guy not being able to find a place that can hold 25,000 people. <laughs> All right, now quickly it goes over to Malone, now back over to Bogues. Now uh, quickly over to King. King uh, takes the shot, it's no good. Bernard a little bit off. He's getting his opportunities too, he's just not hitting. And on the right now, quickly goes over to Bird. Bird steps back and hits. And Larry immediately is forcing Bernard to play some defense. 
14-8 the score. All right, now quickly it goes Bowes. Bowes brings the ball up to the right. Boston leading by six. 6-12 six left to go here in the first quarter. Oh, Catledge takes one from up top. It's no good. The rebound fought for. And we got a foul underneath, but I don't know which way it's going to go. I think it's going oh, against Washington. Is it against Moses? They just broke a city ordinance if they call the foul on Moses. <laughs> They're not telling us. 14-8, the score. Boston is out in front by six. All right, now quickly, Bogues is uh, right in DJ's shirt. On the left, it goes quickly over to Bird. Now on the pivot over to Roberts. So Roberts drives, misses the shot, gets it back, throws it up, and gets decked. Well, that's the thing that we're seeing more of with Fred Roberts that we did not see last year. Fred would take that first shot and you would never see him again. What he's doing now is he's taking that shot, he's taking the ball inside, and if he misses, he's immediately taking off after the miss and setting up for position for that rebound. Well, he has, he has a quick jump. See, his reflexes are very sharp, so if he stays right in there, he's probably gonna get a pretty good crack at the ball if it comes off the rim on, on a rebound because he is so quick. He may not jump any higher or have more muscle than the guy he's going against, but he jumps quicker. And that's a very big asset. All right, now the shot is good. Both of them were. Going to be a big plus to his game because he's a good free throw shooter as well. 16-8, the score. Boston is out in front by eight. Now quickly on the left, it goes over to Bogues. Bogues cross court now to Jeff Malone. And now it goes in the King, and King's shot was hurried and uh, is not good, but it's knocked out of bounds by Boston. Bernard in his debut last night, 3 of 12. Right now he's 1 of 5 and 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Outside now, quickly it goes over to Bogues. And now to Jeff Malone, he's up and down. He's up and down and... Uh, Good job by Danny. Danny came out on him and I think that's when he changed his mind. He wanted to take that shot. Saw came out of nowhere going. on him yep. a little bit. And uh, you know, he, he was surprised seeing Danny and uh, he had to change his mind and it cost him. It was a travel. All right, now quickly it goes over to Parrish. Parrish back out to Bird on a pop out, and the shot is no good. There's a fight for the rebound, won by Robert. It's no good. Now Moses wins it. And Moses quicks it out to King, but behind King, it goes out of bounds. Uh, you can see that these bullets right now are not familiar with playing with each other. With I don't think they really Moses, aren't. Moses, of course, uh, for example, on that play, it was not does not really know how quick King is or how fast he is. And, and now so he, uh, he didn't hit him right. King and Roberts just exchanged uh, strong elbows. All right, the shot now is no good, and we have a battle for the boards, and there's a foul being called on Robert Farris. As he retaliated a little bit to uh, Moses' roughness. I'll tell you what happened, though, underneath is that Roberts tried to set the uh, pick on Bernard King, and Bernard got really frustrated and put that forearm into Fred. And Fred just uh, kept that forearm back up on him. We'll have to watch those two tonight. They become dancing partners. Here comes Darren Day, and Fred's coming out. And this may be an attempt right now by KC. Let's put a strong guy on Bernard right now. Let's put the muscle on him. All right, now. Also, you know, maybe if you just keep on changing the look on Bernard, you can get him tired out. And that's what they want to do. They know he's been out of action for a couple of years, and they want to try and tire him if they can. Double down on Moses, and the pass back out is uh, lost by Jeff, picked off by DJ underneath to Danny, and Danny hits it. Again, that errant pass, this time for Moses out to Bernard King. He was not expecting it. He was able to get the handle finding on it, but then they lost the ball. Delay of game warning now against the Celtics. 18-8 the score, less than five minutes to play, largest lead of the night. We're in the first quarter, 4:23 to be exact. All right, uh, Tyrone Bogues is on the right. And look, and get the ball in now to, Mo to Moses, and Moses got fouled. That's going to be the uh, Robert his second, second on, on Robert Parrish. Second on Robert Parrish, and Moses Malone is going to go home now. He's going to go to the foul line. Well, the one thing about... He lives right there, doesn't he? Yes, That's he does. That's where his address is. He goes there as often as anybody in the league. He and Adrian <laughs> Bentley own a piece of that stripe. 18-9 to the score. Boston is out in front by nine. Moses again, and he hits again. 18-10. to Celts lead by eight. All right, Parrish going now to Bird. Now oh, to Danny in three-point land. He misses the shot. The rebound comes out deep to Jeff Malone. Jeff is starting to break. On the left, it goes to Moses. He traveled. he traveled. He traveled. He could not find a handle. It was a high pass, and it 
got hung up on his shoulder and it cost him a step. Underneath now, quickly it goes over to Parrish. Parrish looks, up fakes, fires, misses. Moses gets the rebound. Moses worked up, he's angry. And now the quick out goes to Bogues. Underneath now, quickly to Jeff Malone who lays it in. See, I don't think that's your best situation for your big horse to get out on the wing like that and pass the ball to Moses Malone in that situation. Jeff Malone was uh, flying up on from the right wing. He was flying in there. Now Bird, a tap pass, and it's stolen away. And Moses gets it over to Bogue. He goes behind his back. The pass beats Bird. Bird had an ocean, and it went right to Catledge, and uh, suddenly the lead is only four. Underneath it goes now to Robert Parrish. There's a scramble defense on Robert. Now he's got his man one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and Foley. Moses with a real bad piece of Stanislavski. I mean, that was the worst Stanislavski I've ever seen. Terrible. He... <laughs> <laughs> Robert gave him a dirty look and he fell down. He's got to watch some films of Bill Lane Beer. He's got to get it down a little, refine that move a little bit better. <laughs> 20 to 14 to score. All right, Robert and Moses are going at him. Moses ducks his head, got fouled, and Robert... No, no, that was Danny yeah. Ainge that committed the foul. Danny came down to help down, help out, and he committed the foul. I'll tell you what, tempers are beginning to flare in here because uh, everybody is kind of slapping everybody right now, and that can sometimes uh, bring out the worst in people. Time up, 2.49 remaining in the first. Celtics by six, Boston 20, Washington 14. Well, then Danny Ainge doing what he does quite well, and that is get in and double down on Moses, get his hands on the ball, and force Moses to kick that ball back out instead of making that turn on the pivot foot inside. But this time, Danny got him in the arm. And Moses is back to his home. All right. Moses returns home, and he's going to take the first of two. He's only had two shots there, so... 20-14 to score. Guess it hasn't been what you call home. Ah, uh, the shot is good. 2015, Boston leads by five. They did lead by as many as 10. And the shot now is good. Make it a four-point bulge enjoyed by the Celtics. 2016, the score. And there's the downcourt pass. It just goes astray and goes out of bounds. Muggsy got in everybody's, got tangled up in everybody's legs. All right, now on the left, it goes quickly over to Jeff. Uh, Jeff Malone on the right now to Bernard. In the pivot, it goes to Catledge, up fake, misses the shot, gets it back, wants to go again, does go again, and hit. 2018, the score, Boston is out front by two. On the right now, Darren Day with the ball. Creeping awfully close, and he, they, they let him have the shot. I mean, what the heck? They, they just never picked up on him. Darren I mean, uh, he, gave, he, let, he let Darren Day go to within 10 feet of the hoop on a slow dribble, never challenged him. All right, now quickly up top it goes over to Catledge. Catledge is on a drive, and there's a blocking foul being called on Greg Kite, who just came into the ball game. He tried to come in and shut down the lane after uh, Catledge had already beaten Bird. Here comes Reggie Lewis in. Danny Ainge is going to come out. The uh, interest, of course, with Tyrone Bogues and Reggie Lewis as they played together on that undefeated Dunbar High School team in 83. Reggie 22. Williams played on that team as well from the Clippers and the David Wingate is now with Philadelphia. 22-18 the score. Boston is out in front by four, make it three as uh, <laughs> Terry Catledge hits the first of two. Reggie was telling All right, Darrell Walker will be in the ball game as well and so is uh, uh, Jay Murphy. Now Murphy rather uh, the free throw is missed and Boston gets the rebound. It goes now to Darren Day changes direction and speed. Oh boy, he put on the afterburners and just burst into the lane laid it up easily. Hesitation and then he just took off like a rock. 24-19 to score. Boston is out in front by five. On the right now Walker being guarded. And Bird takes the ball away from Murphy. A three-on-two break, and there's Darren Day trying to finish it off. Does finish it off and got fouled, and he was fouled by Bernard King. Let me tell you, Darren Day may not admit it. He may say that this is just another ball game for him, but he and I were talking before this game. There was no question he was motivated for this When You've got to remember, this is the ball club that dumped him a year and a half ago. They had played him at the point guard. They had tried him in all sorts of different positions. It never worked out, and I think he would just love to shove it back to Washington here tonight. 27-19 as he makes the free throw good. And uh, remember this, they, it was an experiment that failed miserably. I mean, they went three years trying to make this guy a point guard, and he should have been an off guard or a small forward. 
which is what he always was. Now Jay Murphy cruises in and hits a jump hook. Toss 27-19 to score. Boston is out front by eight. No, 27-21. They're out front by six. All right, now quickly on the right side on it is Bird. Posting up is Reggie Lewis. He beats his man easily and he misses the shot. Greg Kite got the rebound, gets it out to Bird. Blocks the pass. Now he passes and DJ misses the, the layup and there's a traveling violation as they try to go back up the floor and I think that was an apology. What happened is Catledge got it hung up on his hip. I think that was a legitimate traveling violation, but yeah, you're right. There it looked to me like there was a lot of banging underneath. I think they, they missed the, the, the foul that was, uh, uh, you know, heaved on, on DJ. If DJ got nailed as he went in for the layup, he missed the layup. What did, went by the boards was a great play by Bird. In midair, he bluffed one pass, then took it back down to the ground, went two dribbles, and then threw the pass in the same direction. He's developed great hang time now as well. All right, now Bird takes the shot. There's a battle for the rebound, and it's picked up off the floor by Bogues. Underneath it goes quickly for the shot that's missed, and uh, the ball goes out of bounds. And let's see who that is. Well, that was John that's, Williams. Uh, John Williams in the ball game for the first time. 27-21 to score. Boston is out front by six. 35 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Play getting a little ragged, but they are running. On the right now, quickly it is DJ. He fires up. It's no good. The rebound fought for. And picked up by Darrell Walker. He comes out of there by himself. On the right, it goes quickly over to Murphy. Murphy holds up. They're going to hold for one shot. And apparently Murphy's getting some playing time now, the old Boston College favorite. And uh, getting his chance to play. On the right now, quickly, it is Bogues trying to beat everybody. And uh, he got tangled up, but he got fouled. Well, he's going to draw a lot of those because he can get in with uh, the big guys. Murphy probably getting the playing time right now because uh, Mark Allery doesn't know the system I'll yet. I'll tell you something else. I mean, you, you, you watch him, and I'm, you know, it, it sounds funny, and I mean it partially as a joke, but uh, uh, I mean it partially seriously. He comes off a pick with one of those big guys, and you can't find him. I mean, you absolutely cannot see him for a moment, you know, and then he breaks loose in the, in the daylight, and then you got to foul him to stop him. He's got great ball handling skills. The other thing I think people have trouble with him, John, is the dribble. His dribble is so low to the ground, it's hard to really pick up and try to steal that ball. All right, he makes both free throws. It's 27-23. Mark Allery is in the ball game, but Boston loses it out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Washington ball. Now, Play right. is Helter Skelter. It's very ragged right now. Reggie stepped out. Darrell Walker stayed with him. All right, now quickly it goes now to Darrell Walker, and that's going to that's going to end the quarter. Well, All right, we had a sloppy first quarter. Part of it was uh, was looked pretty good, but most of it was sloppy. my hand, and I have small hands. I mean, uh, what a cute dog. Didn't here. have an accident or anything in your lap, did he? No, I, my, my oldest kid did that to me once. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, I think that's like the third dog, isn't it? Uh, Is that the third generation? Or? It could be third. It, I know it's at least second. All right, four-point ball game. We're set so far. It's been a slop fest between these two teams. All right, now quickly, Tyrone Bogues uh, brings the ball up. Mark Allery's in. And it goes now quickly to uh, John Williams, who hits the jump shot. All right, Jerry Seasting. Now today, quickly it goes out to Mark Akers, who just came into the ball game. Seasting, Akers, Day, Henry, and Lowhouse saw the Boston contingent. The ball is knocked out of bounds. Quick double team on Lowhouse on that left baseline. All right, now you have Allery and Murphy and Williams and Bogue and who's the other? And, and Walker. That's Washington's contingent. Boston gets the ball back out. All right, now Day puts the ball on a play deep to Henry. They're going to try and get something started. Both clubs have their benches in there. On the left, Henry stops and pops. It is no good. The rebound by Allery. Now oh, Bogues. Bogues brings the ball straight up. Starts to go and can't. Back to Allery. On the left, it goes to Williams. Williams is a burly guy. And on the right now, quickly, they get the ball into Allery in the, in the low post, and he goes over Lowhouse and uh, does not hit the jump shot. Murphy commits the foul, loose ball. Oh, he did some back climbing as the Celtics had the inside position, and Murphy came up on the backside and got his hands on the ball, 
Also uh, Kevin Lockery, the cigar store Indian, uh, was up and uh, arms folded in front of the store just then. But uh, <laughs> I love Kevin. I, you know, I mean, you can't even get angry at him. All right, now underneath, Lowhouse goes under, up, and jump hooks it in. He works so well without the ball, and he just drove on the baseline. All right, now quickly it is Allery with the ball, guarded by Lowhouse. It goes in the post up now to Walker. Walker underneath now to Allery, and we get a foul be on the pass. One of the passes resulted in a foul, and I don't know who that's on. Connor Henry going to grab off of Walker. All right, 29-25 the score. Boston leads by four. Washington closed the gap several times. All right, now Bogues goes in the corner over to Walker. He drives, and Lowhouse harassed the shot, but it's, uh, they put it in anyhow. 29-27 to score. Boston is out in front by two. Now Darren Day goes in from right to left. It got fouled as he went in. He continues to draw those fouls. Change of direction move. Diagonal right to left. Darren Day in a power move as he splits the defense and gets fouled. Bogues comes out, and they'll go with a larger backcourt right now because Jeff Malone comes in. All right, now, Darren Day is at the foul line. Boston has a scant two-point lead. Ten minutes, 21 seconds left in the half. The shot is no good. Day talks to himself, walks out of there, and now walks back to the foul line. Notice that Darren has problems when he has the two shots. When he has the one shot, he always seems to make it. I'd like to see some numbers on that. Uh, 30 to 27 to score. Boston is out in front as Darren, in fact, made one free throw. Always does. <laughs> on top it goes now quickly over to Williams on the right now. They swing it around to Darrell Walker underneath to Jeff Malone. He gets swallowed up, gets the shot off, and gets fouled. Connor Henry is the one who committed the foul, I believe. Yep. That's his second very quickly. Second team foul. Oh, he's drawn a tough assignment. Jeff Malone is not an easy person to take because Jeff can drive, he can jump, and he's a great shooter. Uh, the shot is good. Well, he gives them instant offense, and when he gets in the groove, he's as good a, an outside shooter oh, as you're going to find in the league. He's a super player all the way around. The shot is good. 30-29 to score. Boston is out in front by one. And Darren Day finds himself in a jam. Now he gets rid of it over to Henry, back over to Seasting, facing off, he hits it. Wide open daylight as they beat the trap. 32-29, a score, Boston is out front by three. All right, here's Williams trying to beat Day, does beat Day, scoops it in. Went from left to right with a little fake and just got in clear sailing. All right, now Henry on the right side line, holds it up top, it goes to Lowhouse. Lowhouse looking, wants everybody out of there. And now screens for Seasting. Seasting faces up and then gives to Henry. Henry is driving through to the left. He is traveling. He did. Jeff Malone corrected nicely on him. Got the body in the lane. Knew that's where he was going. And Connor took an extra step. Connor's having a little trouble tonight. And uh, I think Casey's going to make a change. On the left, it goes to Darrell Walker. He misses the shot. And Connor Henry gets the rebound and gets it down nicely on the quick out. Now, quickly, it goes from Darren Day to CC. He lays it in. Great pass by Darren Day. Perfect bounce pass over on the left wing to CC. Boy, they released in a hurry. All right, now Malone drives on Henry but misses the shot. The rebound uh, goes to Akers. Back to Henry. They're galloping. It goes now to CC. A slap pass goes to Reggie Lewis. He got, he got hit. No, that Darren. was not Reggie. That was Darren Day. Perfect pass that time by Jerry Seasting. Jerry said, hey, listen, you got me the last time. I'm going to get you this time. And he got a perfect pass to him right on the numbers. And he ends up getting fouled, and Darren Day will go to the line. All right, Darren is at the line. Uh, they are moving. Boy, I'll tell you, they've accelerated. They've gone up a notch. And now DJ has come into the ball game. So has Danny. So they've changed the guard. Uh, the shot is good. They got a back lead back up to four. Most of Malone going to come back in. And Jay Murphy comes out. But well, Darren right now is the glue that's been keeping this unit together. On Paris year. comes in and Akers comes out. And Darren Day is at the foul line. 35-31 to score. Make it 36. Got them both that time. On uh, Darren Walker. Takes it to the right. He's guarded by Danny Ainge. And up top it goes now. Quickly over to Allery. Allery holds the ball. On the left now to Malone. Malone a fadeaway. It's no good. The rebound goes to Ainge. The quick out now to DJ. Slants from left to right. 
Gets bottled up and comes back out of there, goes to Ainge. Ainge calls for play. All right, Ainge is looking. Goes underneath now to DJ, lays it in. Perfect pass, perfect move by DJ. Just went off a pick and lost his man. There's that back door that they run, that DJ runs for Bird, and that time they do it from Ainge to DJ. All right, Bird is going to come back in the ball game. Boston has increased the lead to seven. On the right, Darrell Walker. He starts to go. He steps back. He fires. It's good. So it's 38-33 to score. On the left, it's Danny Ainge. Stomps and pops. It's no good. Low house goes over the top on Allery, and that's a foul. On the rebound, Low house went over the top on Allery, and that's definitely a foul. Birds back in. Darren Day comes out. Played very well when he was in there. Ten points. He's the leading scorer in the ballgame right now. All right, Jeff Malone, on the left it goes to Mark Allery. Guarded by Lowhouse. Back out deep it goes now quickly over to Williams. On the left now quickly on a pump shot to Malone, and Malone hits it. About 38-35, less than eight minutes to play in the first half. Up top now it's quickly Parrish on the left over to Danny. Danny holds the ball, has a jam in the middle. Bird comes out of there. Got double team, gets it over to Lowhouse. Bang. Over coverage right there on Bird. Double and then a triple. And all Larry did is said, I'm 18 feet away. I'll hand it off to Lowhouse. He can hit from out here. On 40-35, the score. Boston is out front by five. Now quickly, uh, Malone trying to back DJ in. On the left, it goes to Allery. Allery being guarded by Lowhouse. Now Malone. Malone takes the drive and the shot. And uh, Parrish gets the rebound. Gets it down court. The low house has to chase it. And Whoa. Goes over the table and falls heavily. He went over a couple of chairs on a table. Fell real heavily, but got right back up and bounced out onto the court. That him, kid's like a rubber band. They give him a nice hand here. It's very rare to you see a seven-footer running the court like that and going into the crowd like that. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Ralph Sampson does it all the time. I'm sorry. A big wrestling match going on between Moses Malone and Robert Parrish. They've called a foul as the ball was knocked loose. And I don't know who the foul's on. DJ. It might be on DJ. DJ reached in and knocked the ball loose after Moses had out-wrestled Robert. I mean, they had a real thing going. Time all right, we got a timeout with six minutes of the ball. Moses has been there so far. Five shots. He's made all five. Well, Man, five, five out of six because he just missed this one. All right, now DJ has it. Boston leads by four. 6.41 left. Uh, Mark Allery is crowding Brad Lowhouse. He gets it over to Bird. Bird scoop passes nice. over to Robert. He misses a shot. Gets it up and again, again, again. And it's third. I think the fourth one was good. Where was As a Moses? matter of fact, somebody went right up in... <laughs> right up through the through the hoop and, and knocked it back out, but of course it counted. Question is, where was Moses Malone? Uh, I think Lockery is asking the same question because he was angry. All right, Moses, a fadeaway. He was traveling. So it's 42-36 to score. Boston is out in front by six. Here comes DJ. DJ fiddles and diddles, bullet pass to Bird. Bird puts it in. Everybody napping that time. Williams was looking at the ball and did not realize that his man is Bird. You don't take your eyes off Bird. All right, Williams drives, tries to get it back. He doesn't, and Robert Parrish gets the rebound, and he got fouled. Moses Malone grabbed them. I think what we're seeing now is we're seeing Washington start to wear down a little bit, and Boston with the fresh legs pushing the ball up and catching Washington doing a lot of that napping. Very well, similar I, to what we saw in the second half of the ball game last night. I think that uh, Lockery is aware of that, and he's trying to match uh, legs with legs, but uh, his legs aren't quite as quick. All right, now quickly, Lowhouse has to scramble for the ball, and it's going to be a jump ball with Lowhouse and Moses Malone. Correct. Lowhouse took the pass, couldn't handle it, and they, uh, they battled for it. And uh, I think there's going to be a jump with Lowhouse and Moses Malone. I think it'll be Moses. Should be perfect pass inside by Bird. Brad couldn't hold on to it. He only had to do is turn one step, and he had an easy two. All right, now Moses and Brad Lowhouse will do the honors. There's a pushing match going on with DJ and uh, Jeff Malone. DJ says, look, I want to go for a hot dog. Will you let me, please? <laughs> well, what he's saying is DJ says, I want the position on the other side. 
I can take the position on the other side if I want it. Right, Jess? And Jess says, yes, you can. All right, now the tap is patty cake, and it goes right to Williams. Williams gets the ball over to Walker, back over to uh, uh, Jeff Malone. Bernard King goes in on a drive and gets fouled. Uh, I think it was on Larry Bird. I think it was on Robert Parrish. Would make it his third. Is, is it Bird or Parrish? I think, I think it was Parrish. Well, Bird put up his hands in frustration. Oh, it might be Parrish because here comes Greg Kite. All right, the shot by King is good. We're so far up here that it takes about... Oh, Kite is coming in for yeah. Bird. Or, or is he? Parrish. Parrish is going out. It's, Bird walked off Parrish. the court, and then he has to come back. I'm sure it was on Parrish, but again, we're so far up that six hours later, we get the echo up here, and that's when we find out. <laughs> 44-38 to score. Boston is out in front by six. All right, up top now quickly. Uh, it goes now to from Low House to Ainge. Back to Low House for the alley-oop. It doesn't work. Ball picked up off the floor by Williams. He scurries. He goes to the right. Loops the pass to Malone in the corner. He's dangerous, but misses the shot. The rebound by Moses, and he got rejected, and he's going to go to the line again. Well, once again, he gets great position underneath on the right side, the opposite side of where Malone is shooting. He just camps out right there, and when the ball misses, he's the first one to touch it, and he uses the wide frame, the set position on both Kite and on Bird, and then Lohaus comes in and cracks him. Uh, Casey going to talk to the kid right now, and... Uh, Moses Malone is at the line again. Make it 44-39 now. They're keeping in the ball game with all the free throws. And the shot is good. That's really all that Moses has done. He's got seven points in the game, and they've been all at the line. He hasn't had a basket yet. 44-40 to score. All right, now quickly it goes to Bird on the sideline. He's foul line right extended. Back up top to Lowhouse. He swings it around on the left now to DJ. Back to Danny. Danny fires, but there was a foul called off the... No. Illegal. Illegal defense off, and uh, is that the second one? No, it's the first. It's on Moses playing the lane. First. All right, Bird puts the ball on the play over to DJ. DJ looking. DJ tries to beat Walker, changes up. On the right, it goes quickly over to Danny. Danny has the outside. Cross court, it goes, and that pass is picked off by Walker. Nice play by Walker. He goes in and lays it in. The reason that Moses... Danny gets it right back down to DJ. DJ tries it. It's no good. And Lowhouse uh, knocks it out of Kite's hands, or Kite knocked it out of Lowhouse's hands. They both knock it out of bounds, and Kite got nailed in a foul. Well, right now the Celtics are getting very sloppy in their passing game. They're trying to get the break in gear, and the passing is just off target. It's not crisp, and that's causing mistakes right here. I think the reason that we saw Moses Malone cheating over to the weak side and we may see a little bit more of that when Greg's in the ball game. is that he knows that Kite is not really involved that much in the offense. They don't even pass the ball that often to him. So he's cheating away and trying to help out out on the floor. And he gets caught cheating over that imaginary line in the middle. All right, now Fred Roberts comes in and Brad Lowhouse comes out. Fred Roberts steps in again. Moses Malone, rather Daryl Walker, puts him within one. Walker must be sweating an awful lot out there because after the first shot, they sent the ball boy out there and said, clean up around the line here, will you? All right. Shot by Darrell Walker ties the game up. Oh, with less than five minutes to play in the first half, it's all tied up, 44-44. And now Danny. Uh, goes quickly over to Fred Roberts, back out to Kite on the left now goes to Danny. Danny looking, Danny holds it. Danny goes quickly into DJ, clears and gets rejected. Great play. And now DJ gets it back, Hurry. drives to the right and fires it hit. Right at the buzzer. Right at the buzzer. 46-44 the score. Four minutes and three seconds left to play. So DJ got annoyed. He got embarrassed on the rejection from an out with an outside shot and so he just grabbed it and went in all right on the cut now it is malone misses the shot the rebound goes to williams he misses again and williams gets it again goes in and gets swallowed up and he's going to go to the line four celtics ainge bird kite dj dennis johnson will be the guy charged with it that'll be his second Less than four minutes to play here in the first uh, first half. Three minutes and 44 seconds. We're seeing uh, 
A bit of a rock fight out there now in the second quarter. The shot is good. 46-45 the score. Well, we're also seeing very aggressive defense, and when you do that, you usually take each team out of its offense, and that's what's happening right now. We're seeing some good defensive play. All right, 46-46. It's all tied up again. And now DJ gets it over to Fred. Fred brings the ball up. Being guarded by Bernard. Now quickly it goes over to DJ. DJ comes to the left. Now to Danny cutting through. Goes all the way to the left. Throws one up and in left-handed. Left-handed runner on a rotation move. 48-46 to score. On the drive, Bernard rather Malone misses the shot. Underneath the shot is missed by Darrell Walker. Now it's missed by Moses. And Moses, who appeared to clean out half the building, is the guy who's going to go to the foul line. And that's an injustice right there. That's going to be. The I mean, he backed Larry Bird almost out of the building. And that's an injustice. He happened to have the ball, but he was backing him away all the way. It's going to be the third right now on Dennis Johnson. And the shot is good. They ignored what he, uh, the fact that he was just muscling his way for a clear shot, and that should have been a foul. And they didn't make it. The fact they went the other way, called on DJ. 48-48 the score. He ties it up. On the right now, quickly Ainge with the ball. Moses has been in the line about ten times already. Walker just blatantly holding DJ. Bird cruises through and lays it in. 50-48 the score. Boston is out front by two. That's starting to get a little ugly. On the right now, quickly, it is Daryl Walker with the ball. Walker brings it to the left. And some, uh, now Fred Roberts and Bernard King are going at it. Now Bernard buries his shoulder into Roberts' chest and throws one up and in, and they're going to send Bernard to the line. Now they're going to call it a continuation as well. And, and so Bernard's yeah, going to get credit gonna get, for the he's basket. Gonna get the, he's going to get the hoop. And he's going to get uh, going to get a free throw as well. Now I don't know. The strange how many... thing was that I thought Bennett Salvatore had blown the whistle, and it almost looked like the play had stopped. And Bernard continued on in the shot motion with the roll into the lane, and they give him the shot. We got a Celtics have been there nine times. Nine shots for Boston. Uh, Twenty-four for. There, there's a tremendous inequity there, and uh, you know. Uh, the bullets have made merry at the line, and that uh, has put them ahead by one. All right, the difference has been the foul line. I mean, because there's been a vast difference in number of shots taken. Now, Bird tries to step back and do something, but Malone switches over on him. All right, goes to Fred. Fred holding the ball back into uh, Bird. Bird's got Malone on him. Bird beats him, but Malone gets back into the play and blocks the shot. That was a nice play by, uh, by Moses Malone. Ah, oh, Darrell Walker gets it back out to Jeff Malone. He hits. Oh, suddenly the Bullets are leading by three with 2.11 left to play here in the first half. And the Celts have better look to their laurels. On oh, the left now quickly it goes over to Parrish. Parrish back out to uh, Fred. Oh, quickly over to uh, Kite. Now oh, quickly he goes back to Ainge. Three-point attempt and he's got three and he ties it up. 53-53, less than two minutes to play in the first half of a minute 48. Boy, that can hurt you emotionally. All right, now King with the ball. King starts to beat Fred Roberts. He goes baseline. What a great play by King. I mean, a great, great, great shot by Bernard King. Isolation on the left side. That's his first, second bucket of the ball game. All right, uh, they swing the ball through Bird, over to Danny, back to DJ up top. Now it goes underneath the Bird, and uh, John Williams knocks the ball out of bounds. Well, Williams switched in front of him, trying to keep that ball away from Bird, and they've done a pretty good job in the last few minutes of keeping it away from Larry. All right, now quickly DJ with the ball. They want to get the ball into Bird, and now a foul is called underneath, away from the ball. And I think it's going to be Danny Ainge going to the foul line. Yes, it is. That's on uh, all that holding and smacking and cracking and whacking, uh, you know, they're finally going, uh, they're finally seeing what Washington is doing. The shot is missed. Danny gets a little upset at himself. 55-53 to score. All right, now the shot. He misses again. Okay, Darrell Walker brings the ball up. On the left, it goes quickly over to uh, Malone. Now quickly into Bernard. A quick shot by Bernard is good. Well, he feels he's in a groove, and he's going to take that shot consistently now. 57-53 to score. Age underneath to Fred Roberts. Lays it in. 
Good play by Danny. He spun, did not shoot, and hit Fred Roberts underneath. Oh. Underneath now quickly. John Williams going all by himself, and he got fouled by Danny Ainge as he went in for the shot. And nobody picked up on him. I'm telling you, he was standing there for three seconds, waving to them to get the ball to him. And nobody ever picked up on him as they all had their back to him. That was a great, great sneak pass by Bernard King. King is starting to really play the kind of basketball that we expect from him. All right, now the shot is missed by uh, John Williams. 59-55, Boston trailing by four. Bird gets the pass, double team, back over to DJ, cracks the defense and misses the shot. The rebound is put up and right. in by Fred Roberts. I think Kite. Oh, is it Kite? Yeah, it is Kite. They both got flat tops. Sometimes I can't tell them apart. <laughs> oh, come on now. One's a little bit burlier than the other. <laughs> Even at this distance. 59-57 <laughs> the score. All right, now Darrell Walker steps back and misses the shot. The rebound. DJ way up in the air. He beat a couple of big guys to get that rebound. 21 seconds left. Boston going to try and tie it up before they go into the dressing room. All right, now Ainge with the ball being crowded by Darrell Walker. is down to 12 seconds. Goes in a bird. One-on-one. -on -one. He drives. He lays it up easily as he went under up and then hooked it in. Just rolled off William. Eight seconds left now. Oh, and uh, the, they're going to try and get it back. And there's a foul being called. By Bennett Salvador are reaching in on DJ. I think it was a good call, but it was a very late whistle. Dennis Johnson had committed the foul. Walker was taking off, and that's when Bennett Salvador decided on blowing that whistle. That's the fourth on Dennis Johnson. So that's something that uh, KC has got to be concerned with. Well, the difference in number of free throws taken uh, is really alarmingly enormous. Yeah, but you know what happens. Those things in the second half, most uh, times level off. Hey, that can be wishful thinking. Sometimes that does not happen. All right. Now the shot is good. So now the Celtics trail by one, possibly two if he makes this one. And they got four seconds to try and tie it up. And the shot now by Darrell Walker. Everybody was in the lane before he released the ball. Everybody was in the lane. All right, Bird. And Danny gets cute. Bird goes behind his back. It's picked up by Roberts. He fires up and misses, and that ends the half. They got cute. Bird stood there. They were crowding him on a pass in. He waited for Danny to drop back off the court. He gave the ball to Danny, and they executed a perfect give and go to get the play started. Well, the other thing is that the clock doesn't start until Larry touches the ball, so yeah. he led that pass to him. And that allowed Larry really to get to mid-court before the clock even started. That's where he was able to get the ball. And Larry spun it behind his back. I think had he spun it behind his back and gained control at the other side. The ball. 61-59 to score on the interchange underneath the basket. They, uh, somebody was moving. All right, up top it goes now quickly over to Roberts. Now DJ underneath the Parrish, and Parrish ties the game up. Just wheeled off of uh, Moses Malone. 61-61, Bogues, King, um, um, Jeff Malone, Catledge, and Moses are uh, the contingent for Washington. Now King gets it into Moses. He goes baseline and gets the lead back. First basket of the ball game for Moses Malone. 63-61 the score. Now quickly Fred goes back over to Bird in the corner now to Danny. Danny fires, misses. The rebound is Moses. And goes to Bogues. Bogue brings the ball straight up, goes to the foul line. On the right now, Jeff. Jeff goes into the traffic and lays it in and got fouled. Pure power move on that right baseline. So it is 65-61, and once again, the Boston Celtics have uh, uh, not uh, been able to tighten up their defense yet. It's going to be uh, They had that problem last night, and uh, they tightened up the defense you know, immeasurably in the second half, and uh, they won going away. But uh, so far, they have not been able to tie it up. They, they dropped back by five. 66-61 to score. Boston is trailing by five. All right, wide of the key now, it is Robert Parrish. Up top it goes quickly over to uh, uh, Fred. Now in the pivot now to Parrish. Parrish goes through the lane, throws up a hook. He does not get a call. He got bumped. And they lose the ball on a rebound. Bogues has it on the left. It goes to Bernard King. He drives and lays it into Moses. <laughs> Moses lays it in. Moses was in the lane about a minute and a half. He was flat-footed, too, on that shot. And now 
They call the ball out of bounds off Danny's foot. They say he dribbled off his own foot as they harassed him coming over the timeline, and he lost the ball out of bounds. But they did. So Boston is coming unglued a little bit. 68-61 to score. Boston trails by seven. On the left now, it is Catledge. Up top it goes now to uh, Jeff Malone and make it a nine-point lead for Washington. And the Celts want to talk things over, as best they should. Well, and uh, there are 10 minutes and 11 seconds left in the third quarter on the score. Boston, rather, Washington 70 and Boston 61. Larry Bird, that's Boston's contingent. And Danny has it now. Danny's on the left sideline, being harassed all the way. And <laughs> takes it up top. Now goes into DJ. DJ's in the jungle, goes back out to Paris. Kick and we had kickball. A kickball, and Boston's going to get the clock back. By that, I mean they get the 24 seconds back. It's reset. Okay, it goes into Danny now. Danny looks, holds it. Bogues takes it away. Danny gets it back, goes into Bird. Bird, a scoop shot, draws a foul. Well, Bird got uh, grabbed at the top of the drive by Bernard King. This is where you really see the absence of Kevin McHale and where it hurts when the teams get the Celtics into a half-court game and they don't have that post-up move with McHale. All right, DJ with the ball. DJ brings it out. Now, quickly, it goes over to Bird. Bird gets it under Roberts. Roberts goes under, up and in, and got fouled. And that was a good, good move by Fred Roberts. And that was a post-up, and once he got the ball, he took off, went under, up and in. Off the glass and ended up getting fouled. To get to alleviate the problem with no McHale, it, Boston's got to run, John. They've got to pick up the pace here and get back to doing some of the things that we saw last night. 70-63 to score. The shot is good. 70-64 as uh, uh, Roberts uh, makes it a six-point deficit. All right. Muggsy Bogues brings it up. Guarded by Ainge. Goes now to Catledge on the left sideline. Catledge is swallowed up by Bird. He gets it back to Bogues. Bogues has an ocean. Goes foul line left. Underneath it goes cross court to Catledge. He's in all kinds of traffic and misses the shot. The rebound is knocked out of bounds by Moses. <laughs> Moses is mad because he hasn't been able to. He wasn't awarded his 200th free throw tonight. <laughs> he lost the ball out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, he should have gone to the line again, he figures. Now he steals the ball. Good play by Moses. It goes to King. King is trying to recover it and uh, can't do it. It goes out of bounds. Well, you don't very often see Bird make a bad pass. I think I've seen him make two poor ones here tonight. It was a prime example as he was trying to feed the pivot. He gave it up, coughed it up to Moses. All right now, Fred Roberts saw Bogues out of the corner of his eye. I don't know how he saw him. He, he's too far down. All right, now quickly. <laughs> It goes up now to uh, Ainge, back in the bird. Bird underneath, Bird lays it in. They cut the lead to four. And now they're starting to move without the ball. Uh, that's where they can operate into the half-court game. Lots of movement instead of standing around. 70-66 to score. Boston is uh, trailing by four. And up top it goes now quickly into King. Now it goes into Catledge in the lane. He's in there a long time. They tip it in. The shot was missed, and they tip it in. All right, now Ainge gets it cross court over to DJ. DJ brings it up. 72 66 to score. All right, now underneath it goes, and Bird puts it in. 72 68. Boston is beginning a matchup. Boston is getting its fluidity back. All right, Bogues now goes to uh, Jeff Malone behind a pick, and Malone throws it up and in. 74-68 to score. Boston's defense has still not been able to shut down the uh, Washington offense. All right, Danny lured Muggsy Bogues and then beats him on a drive and takes it all the way in. He put egg all over that rookie's face. Once Bogues took off and went for the ball, Danny just took off in the lane. He just lured him. He lured him. He knew he was coming. He knew he wanted the ball. He knew he wanted to try for the steal. And he just said, go ahead, try. And he just beat him. 74-70 to score. Now quickly it goes over to Jeff Malone. He goes to the foul line, throws it up. It is no good. The rebound goes to Robert Parrish. Parrish holds the ball. They try to get something started. Defense gets back. Now, oh, DJ runs Muxy off a little pick by Parrish. It goes in a bird. Bird swings two ways and throws it up ending. and is goaltending. It's going to count. What a late call, though. Get a real late call. That was an obvious goaltending as Moses had pinned it up against the glass. 
All right, now you got a two-point deficit, 74-72 the score. Less than eight minutes to play in the third quarter, 7.04 to be exact. And on the left sideline, quickly, it is Bogues. Underneath it goes to Moses. Moses bottled up. High off the glass, it's no good. And Bernard King knocks Larry Bird off the court as he climbed his back. And the foul is on King. What nice defensive help by Fred Roberts and Larry Bird. Robert Parrish switched positions, fronted Moses Malone. They get the lob pass in, and Roberts and Bird both come over from the weak side and just seal him off where he had nowhere to go. All right, now DJ gets it over to Fred Roberts. Roberts uh, to the left side line. He puts on a burst of speed, holds up, goes to Bird. Bird steps back. Switched. It's all tied up. And it's Larry Bird is leading them back. 74-74. They just chopped a nine-point lead down, and now it's tied up, and timeout has been called with six minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the third quarter of the score. Boston 74, Washington 74. Oh, it's Vogue brings the ball up. Now oh, it goes to King being guarded, you know, to uh, Jeff Malone, and he was uh, being guarded by, by DJ. The shot taken, and Bird gets the rebound. On the cut now to Robert Powers, he puts him ahead. What a great pass by Larry Bird. He's on the left sideline, looks into the left corner, throws the ball underneath on the right side. Oh, man, what a pass. All right, now Catledge with the ball. Catledge goes to King, foul line left. And being harassed by uh, by Fred Roberts. It goes underneath now quickly to Catledge, and Catledge lays it in, ties it up. 76-76. All right, Danny Ainge down the right sideline. These people are still streaming back and forth. They've just missed almost the whole third quarter. The hot dogs must be very good. <laughs> All right, now quickly Bogue steals the ball. Gets it underneath. Perfect pass to Moses Malone. He, he blows the layup. And he got rejected the second time. And Paris tries to reject Catlin, but Catlin is there. Now Washington leads again. It's getting very physical. And now Danny taking a cross-court pass, got nailed. He got really nailed, and it was Terry Catledge who was going for the steal who nailed him. Catledge got the worst of it. Oh, Terry Catledge is second. 14. And they have a large wet spot right now to clean up. It'll be an inbounding situation. Yeah, that wet spot is about six feet eight. <laughs> Washington right now is starting to play the passing lanes. That's where Boston has gotten back into the ball game. They're overplaying the lanes now. All right, Bird holding the ball. Post up now for DJ. Double team. Back underneath it goes quickly over to Fred. He nice. up fakes three times. Got Moses out of there and then laid it up and in and tied it up. That's a nice move right there by Fred Roberts against Moses Malone. All right, Bogue with the ball. Bogue uh, takes it from right to left. And now on the left side, it is King, who steps back, throws it up and in. 80-78. We're seeing pretty good basketball right now. Chris basketball. Cross court. Roberts the Bird behind his back. Whoa. And they knock the ball out of bounds. And it was Tyrone Bogues who came from behind as Bird had swung it behind his back, got one step ahead of Bernard King, and Bogues just slapped it out of bounds. All right, Danny. Clears Bogues out of the way and then hits the baseline jumper. 80-80 to score. All right, Bogues brings the ball up. Boy, he's active. And on the left now, quickly it goes over to Terry Catledge. Bad pass. It's going to go into the backcourt. It does go into the backcourt. And it's a frontcourt, backcourt violation as King and Bogues try to recover it. The original pass was intended for King. Bogues got it back to King, and but King's uh, feet came down in the, in the backcourt. And maybe a loss of a step or a half a step by Bernard King. He would have made that two years, three years ago, I think. All right, now quickly DJ with the ball. DJ looks. He goes in now to Robert Powers. Back to DJ. A little daylight. He throws it up and in. Boston leads 82-80. We're seeing a real horse race now, I'll tell you. Less than five minutes to play, 4-10 to be exact, and Bogues is walking the ball. And Bogues wants to set it up. King sets the pick. Bogues a stutter step. Back out to Malone. Malone goes to the foul line and hits. That's Jeff. 19 That now. ties it up. 82-82. 19 for Jeff Malone. All right. Now quickly it goes to Robert Parrish. Parrish is tied up. He goes quickly into DJ. Now to Roberts. Roberts lost Terry Gatlin. No, what a move by Fred Roberts. He faked into the lane. 
swung back, and Catledge went for lunch. What? He went right up the ramp. Well, he lost him with a head fake. Post-up move by Roberts, and he had Terry Catledge's feet nailed to the floor. And he just swung off him, got the basket, and he goes to the line. And that certainly is a candidate for tonight's miraculous play from Myrak Chevrolet in Arlington. No question about it. And Fred, once again, is involved in one of our miraculous plays. And he makes the free throw. So Boston now has a three-point lead. 85-82 to score. Boston is out in front by three. Less than four minutes to play. 337 to be exact here in the third quarter. How quickly it goes to uh, Williams, who just came into the ball game. Back to Malone. Malone lowers his head like a fullback. And Robert Paris seals the rebound. All right, quickly it goes over to Bird. Bird now underneath to Fred Roberts. He patty kicks it to himself, takes the each oh, other. Yeah. From the baseline, and Scott, what a play by Roberts. There's our second miraculous play. I tell you, he had to go wide for that pass behind the plane of the backboard, then was looking to pass it, ended up taking the shot himself, and he hit it. All right, up top now, quickly Tyrone. Now it goes inside. From Darrell Walker to uh, Terry Catledge, and push I off. think there's a push-off being called uh, on Terry Catledge. Catledge got uh, Dennis Johnson in the jaw. The elbows were flying. Uh, it's starting to get to be that way because uh, Washington has been playing that way. Boston is starting to answer it back. The calls are not going in either direction right now because they could be calling a foul every 15 seconds. Up top now quickly it is Parrish going quickly over to Danny. He leans in, he takes the pop shot, it is no good. Rebound, goes to Bogues on the sideline. He's trying to beat everybody down court. He's driving through, he throws it up and in. Great what play, great play by the little guy. That certainly was coast to coast as he picked up that ball on the sideline. That's a miraculous play possibility right there. 87-84 to score. Now quickly Bird with the ball. Bird looking. Bird gets the pick. And on the roll. It's intent, but it's stolen by, by Bogues again. Bogues now feeds the cutter. And the cutter was Williams. He missed the shot, and the ball is knocked out of bounds by Bird. I'll tell you, when is the last time we uh, you can remember Larry Bird having that much difficulty completing his passes? That's the third one tonight. That one was nearly on the money bounce pass, but the little guy at 5-3 got in the way. All right, the pass goes in from Bogues now to Malone. Back to Bogues. Bogues going to take the outside shot. He hits it. Oh, he, he, he got him back in the ball game. Boston had started to pull away, and he got him back. Boston leads by one. Less than two minutes to play, a minute 47. All right, Bird. Bounce pass quickly over to, uh, to Danny. Now back up top. It goes to DJ there. Leaving DJ alone, he's saying thank you. Last four or five minutes, we're seeing the best basketball of this game. Odd right, 89 86 to score. Best two team basketball of the season so far. The season is young. We're going to see a lot of it before we're through. On the left now, quickly it goes to John Williams. Holds it. Gets it into Moses Malone. Moses Malone got tied up by Bird on a switch off. Bird gets the loose ball. Uh, now it goes to DJ. DJ's driving underneath to Robinson Scott. Once again, they complete the break with Fred Roberts on the wing. Perfect pass from Bird to Dennis Johnson cutting in the lane to Fred Roberts, and he puts it home. 91-86 to score. Boston is out in front by five again. Uh, less than two minutes to play a minute. A minute one, now less than a minute to play. 57 seconds. All right, now out deep, it's John Williams, guarded by Roberts. On the right, it goes quickly over to Bogues. Bogues bringing the ball. No, he has to take the shot. He says, thank you. He can shoot. He can shoot from the outside. 91-88, the score. Boston is out in front by three. 43 seconds left. Looping pass goes into Danny on a post up, and Danny throws it up, and he drew the foul. Muggsy Bogues has not shot that well in the preseason. He did not shoot well in their opening ball game last night. But the one thing about him in college was that he was a good outside shooter. I think a better outside shooter than Spud Webb. The thing he needs is daylight. If he's got a hand in his face, especially with his lack of size, he's going to have some difficulty. He's got some openings out there. Right there he got one, and he nailed it from about 18 feet. Oh, the shot now by Danny Ainge was good. 92-88 to score. And Danny will go again. And he dips, he shoots, he gets it. It's 93-88, Boston leading by five. 
35 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Bogues brings it up to the right. Underneath it goes now quickly over to Williams. Williams fires away and hits. Ball that away. was an off balance shot, and uh, now he made it. All right, now quickly, Seasting is in the ball game. Seasting goes now quickly cross court to Darren Day, who just came back. 17 seconds left. They're going to eat up the clock if they can. And Day holds it. He was looking to the bench, looking right at Casey. Now he's going to take uh, Williams for a trip. And he got stripped. Got stripped in there by Darrell Walker. Walker is going, and he leads Moses Malone, lead, and he lays it in. 93-92 the score. And no time left on the clock, and that's the way it ends here at the end of three. So Boston should have had a five-point lead because they gave up two quick baskets, and the lead goes to one instead. Well, they get careless in the last uh, few seconds of, uh, of that quarter. They were looking at the clock to shelve in that third quarter alone, and he's the guy that really, he and Burnt, were the two that built Boston's lead up to... Uh, what did they get it up to, John, in that quarter? I think it's seven. Seven. I think it was uh, seven. as big as seven. Yep. They were down by nine. They got it up to seven. Mark Akers checks in now. He'll work with the uh, Bird up front and Darren Day with Seasting and Ainge in the backcourt. All right, it's Ainge, Seasting, Day, Akers, and Bird. That's the contingent right now. And Day has the ball. Goes to Akers. They swing it around to Danny. Now everybody's over on the right side. Bird pops out of the triple pick and hits. Daylight. And he just put up that uh, high tier dropper. 95-92 the score. All right, Bogues, Walker, Malone, that's uh, Moses, uh, Williams. Charlie and, Jones. And Charlie Jones. Yeah, that's who it is. Charlie Jones making his first appearance. A steal now by Ainge after a deflected pass by CC. Bird, who was traveling. Try to, to pull up, yeah. and he took an extra step. Believe it or not, Charlie Jones played the last two or three minutes of that third quarter, but he never touched the ball. I don't believe it because I never saw him. Never he, touched he, the ball. He just was not visible at all. All right, now, here he is. Uh, he's got it now. So he touched it, and he said, what the heck is this thing <laughs> that I've got in my hands? All right, now, quickly, Moses being guarded by Mark Akers, and Akers uh, surrounded him, but it's tipped in. I think it's tipped in by Jones, as a matter of fact. 95-94 to score. Not a great offensive force, but he got two there. All right, now Darren Day. Up top it goes to Mark Akers. Back over to Danny it goes. Now Bird, with all kinds of daylight, he said, thank you very, very much. That's Whoever was guarding him just elected to let him have the outside. What a mistake that could yeah, be. That's got to be very, uh, make uh, Kevin Loggery furious because he was right in that circle. That's well within Larry's range. On the left now, Bogues with the ball guarded in there by Seasting. Seasting wants to go at him, and Bogues drives. Had to take a bad shot. Good defensive play by C. Sting. And Mark Akers came over to help out. Now Ainge gets it into Bird. On the left it goes to Darren Day. Holds it for a moment. Back to Bird. Bird throws it up. It is no good. It's an air ball. All right, now Darrell Walker. Quickly feeds into Muggsy. And a great block by Danny Ainge. They got the ball back. Bird is driving on a good pass by Ainge. Bird hits the layup and goes to the foul line. A spinning layup by Larry Bird on the two-on-one -on -one break. Danny Ainge started it all off as Bugsy Bogues attempted to go in on himself. And Danny Ainge got a piece of the ball that started the break. Two-on-one, -on -one, Ainge and Bird. And a spinning move on the baseline by Bird, and he's at the free throw line. 99-94 the score, Boston leading by five, making six. 100 to 94 the score, Boston leads by six. There are less than 10 minutes to play in the ball game. We're seeing a good one now. We saw a sloppy first half, we're seeing a very good second half. All right, now quickly, John Williams with the ball. Gets it back out to Walker. They swing it around to Jeff Malone. Back to Walker, it goes foul line left. He throws it up, it is no good. Bird got the rebound. And on the left, it goes over to Ainge on a quick out pass. Ainge cruises to the baseline, fires and misses, and the rebound now is stolen away by Darren, by Darren Day, but he fouled, uh, he fouled Charlie Jones to do it. Act him on the arm to get that ball. Uh, Boston protecting a six-point lead. This thing has become a real war. 194 the score. 925 left to play. 
And it goes now to John Williams. Back up top now to Jeff Malone. He's dangerous all the time. And as he tries to work the pick and roll with Charlie Jones, or rather with Bernard King, King pushed off. Day and is, he got caught. Yeah, Day and King were going at it for a while as he was trying to set up a position. And King was the one that got caught. All right, now Ainge for the ball. Ainge looks. Ainge drops it, picks it up on the dribble, goes to Bird. John Williams is trying to play Bird tight. Now oh, Akers gets it over to Ainge. Yeah, back up top today. Now quickly it goes into Akers, and Akers was fouled as he went to the hoop. He went right to the hoop on Jolly Jones, and Jolly Jones fouled him. Let's get Kevin Lagery furious. Look at him. He is out there screaming from the sideline to Jess Kersey as he felt that... Uh, Akers had taken an extra step in well, the shot was, motion. What he was really doing was adjusting his shorts because he bounced up real fast. Uh, Kevin is funny. I mean, he really is. You know, you can't even get mad at him when he starts yelling all the time. And he yells all the time. All right, 102-94. Boston's, uh, is that the largest lead or they match the largest lead or what? Well, they had a 10-point lead early. Oh, that's right. That's right. They had a very brief 10-point lead. All right, King. Gets it over to Jeff Malone, pumps it up behind the pick. Boy, he's deadly. 21 now. 102 96 to score. Boston is out front by six. Less than nine minutes to play. 835. Danny has the ball. Danny looking. Danny fiddles the diddles. Goes to Day on the left sideline. Ah, uh, they want Bird. They don't get Bird. Day takes the shot. It's no good. And it comes out deep, and Jeff Malone has it in the middle. On the right, it goes to John Williams. He's cruising in. He up fakes a couple of times. It's a nice job, a spinning layup. Spun a couple of times and beat his man. Casey's calling a timeout quickly because what's happening is Boston's forcing up some junk again. They're not looking for the good shot. And Casey immediately calls the timeout, and he'll diagram one for him right now. 8-14 remaining in this one from Washington. It's the Silts, 102, Bullets, 98. And the last couple of times down the floor, that's exactly what they've done. KC talking it over. Robert Parrish checks back into the ball game. And Darren Day, who was the guy that forced that last shot up, is sitting down. All right, Seasting brings the ball up. Now quickly it goes to Parrish popping out. Now to Akers who popped out. Now back to Seasting on the left. Now to Bird who pops out. On the right it goes over to DJ. DJ gets it in now quickly over to Seasting. Seasting being swallowed up by Walker. It goes quickly in uh, for a double now to Mark. And he's jammed up for a jump ball. A uh, good double down effort by Darrell Walker. He was very active on defense on that. He is a very good defensive player, I think, and he's terrific at getting down there on the double and just keeping active with the hands. All right, Akers and Darrell Walker. And the tip is controlled by Washington as uh, Bernard King gets it. Now quickly on the right, it goes over to Jeff Malone, takes it out, and he fires up, and what do you know, he's human, he missed, but... Uh, John Williams, a good rebound, and he got fouled as he went back up. He used pure muscle right there because Robert Parrish had his hands on the ball, and John Williams just scooped it away from him. That was Robert Parrish's rebound, and Williams used the power to just take it away from him and put up a jumping right hook from underneath. All right, Fred Roberts is going to come back into the ball game. I have a hunch it'll be Akers who comes out, and Williams misses. And Akers is coming out. And Fred Roberts will be assigned to Charlie Jones. And now, let's see. John Williams will go again. Boston leading by four. And they continue to lead by four. The ball is patty kicked off the boards. And the shot is no good. And a lot of wrestling going on. And Charlie Jones comes up with the ball. So the pure muscle rebounding. I mean, that was pure physical stuff. And they, they, they win the ball. Boston leads by four, less than eight minutes to play, 7.22 left. In the pivot, it goes now quickly over to, uh, to King. King gets it in on the cut, and Walker misses the shot. Perfect pass. All right, now quickly, DJ with the ball, and King probably saying, see why I don't have very many assists? I, I, I can't depend on these guys, so I'm not going to give them the ball. That's a lame excuse, isn't it? <laughs> Now Bird, cruising through the lane, missed the shot. Roberts picks it up off the floor, goes back out now from Seasting to DJ. DJ brings the ball nowhere. He's standing with it. And now gets it over to Bird. Bird underneath now to Parrish. Parrish cruises through and got held. And John Williams did not like the call against him. 
It's an inbounding situation. Less than seven minutes to play in a ball game. Boston holding a four-point lead. 6.46 to be exact. And now it goes into DJ. DJ walking the ball. All right, it goes on the left over to Bird. Bird is near the sideline, taking it out toward the middle now to Roberts. Roberts is in the lane, throws it up high when it's no good. And a rebound goes out of bounds, and it's off Moses Malone. All right, Bird will put the ball into play from the sideline. 102-98 to score, and they're going to try it again. So they're getting a lot of chances here. Bird on a pop-out. Swish. 104-98. That's uh, very normal. When you're having trouble, just go to 33, and uh, somehow or other he figures out a way. All right, Darrell Walker guarded by Seasting. It goes into Jeff Malone, and Seasting reached in and stripped the ball, but it's a foul. Oh, Jerry Seasting is first. That's his first, but it's going to be the third of the team. Right now, King puts the ball to play. It goes quickly over to Darrell Walker. Walker up top. And now it goes back into King, and King gets it over to Moses Malone underneath, and he hits. That's another good pass. Rotation move into the lane. The double team picks up on Bernard, and he finds Moses. 104 to 100 to score. Less than six minutes to play here in the ball game. 551 to be exact, and up top it is Robert Parrish. Underneath now to Fred. Fred spins off uh, his man and throw a good Stanislavski this time. King drew the foul. I question that call, but uh, he did a very good job of acting. Well, I think the foul was committed. I don't think it was as vicious as Bernard King made us all seem to believe it was. That's the kind of foul that goes on all night long and doesn't usually get called. It was called that time. On the left now, quickly. Uh, King changes direction, takes a drive, misses the shot, and goes to the line. Well, Bernard King right now is starting to get into the flow of the ball game where he's doing a lot of things out there, not just shooting well. He's taking the ball to the hole. He's also feeding the ball off and helping just pick up the entire offense of Washington. Because of it, they're a lot more diversified out there on offense than we saw earlier in this game. All right, Bernard hits. 104-101 the score. Five and a half minutes left to play. Bernard King with a heavily taped and bandaged uh, right knee. He's got a brace on it as well. And he hits both free throws, cuts the lead to two. Boston calls for a timeout. It's a 20. Uh, is it? The yeah. 20 situation or anywhere around 12 feet of the hoop. You're going to double team them. They're doing a lot of double teaming on, uh, on Bernard. And we're seeing some triple coverage as well. And Bernard is now using his passing skills to set up other people. And it's uh, working very effectively. The thing is, passing skills that uh, he really didn't possess a couple of years ago. He right. Did. But if he, well, I'm sure he possessed them. But he didn't, didn't choose, use them. He didn't choose to use them. Uh, but now he is using them. And uh, he's fit in very nicely for a guy who hasn't played a couple of years. And is with a new team now. He has just made, uh, made a home for himself, really. He's slowly but surely getting back into the... Uh, the ways of the old Bernard King, and that's dangerous. Now Bird pops out, and he's always dangerous. It's 106-102. He's got 30, and he's doing that same pop-out uh, move, and he's also hitting the teardropper. All right, now Darrell Walker. Up top, it goes over to Williams. Now back on the left over to King. King being guarded by Fred. King starts to drive. Bird uh, double teams him. King throws up the shot. Moses Malone muscles the rebound and puts it in. Another offensive rebound bucket for Moses Malone. 106-104 the score. Boston is out front by two. All right, up top now quickly it is DJ. DJ looking. And DJ holds. He wants Bird. He gets Bird. Bird starts to go. Goes behind his back. Gets double team. Back out deep it goes over to DJ. The shot is no good. The rebound goes now quickly over to William. William steps around one man. Starts to drive. Shovel the pass into Moses. We got a side ball game. Sean, they had a five on one break. Jerry Seasting was the only Celtic to get back into position. And maybe the Celtics starting five is getting a little worn down here. All right, DJ. A bullet pass goes into Bird. Bird lost it out of bounds. Oh, it's 106, 106, 416 left to play in the ball game. And Danny Ainge has just come back in, and Seasting is coming out. Boston has committed four fouls, and the Bullets have committed three. As we're winding this one down, and it's all tied up. 
Four minutes, seven seconds left. All right, Walker pounding the ball into the floor. Goes to King. King uh, underneath back to Walker. Walker misses the shot, and uh, Walker's going to go to the line. Perfect drop-off pass inside by Bernard King. Post up again, double team. He feeds Daryl Walker underneath. As Danny H. came over to help Fred Roberts, Walker had to go up against Robert Parrish. Really did not get a good shot off, but he got fouled, and he'll go to the line. And Boston is now over the limit. All right, now Darrell Walker is at the line and hit. That puts Washington out front. This lead has changed hands a few times. All right. Now Darrell Walker again. And he hits again. So Washington leads by two. Less than four minutes to play. The self trail by two. 3.55 left. All right, DJ with the ball. DJ guarded by Malone. That's Jeff. Now, Danny gets held, but he goes into the lane, throws it up, and it's no good. Bird the rebound, no good, and Bird got fouled. John and Williams. he is really angry at himself because he had the thing. He had it inside, and it didn't fall for him. He did get fouled, but he would have gotten a three out of it. Certainly would. He tried to spin that ball underneath. Danny Ainge took a, taking a double pump in the lane. Bird right there, and he tried to spin it up off the glass as John Williams was riding them all the way. All right, Larry's going to the line. It's three minutes, 44 seconds left to play in the ball game. That's the fourth foul uh, on Washington. That puts them at the limit, and Bird misses. That's a rare sight. All right, Larry will go again. Oh, he doesn't miss this one. So it's 108, 107 to score. Boston trailing by one. 340 left to play. Here's Walker. On the left, it goes over to Malone. Now, back up top to, uh, to Moses. Underneath, it goes now quickly back to Walker. A rather King. Short King, and King lays it in. Bernard, great move in the lane. Oh, uh, now Boston trails by three. Three minutes, 23 seconds left, and DJ gets it over to Robert Parrish. Danny goes down. He got knocked down by Walker, but they don't call it. Now underneath it goes to Robert Parrish. He got stripped. He got fouled. It's going to be on John Williams again. That's going to get Kevin Loggery going. No, he's just going to go sit down. <laughs> he's now. I don't need a T right now. He had to restrain himself. He was ready to go wild on the sideline and just went and sat down. Uh, Robert Parrish is at the line, 110 to 107 to score. Boston is trailing by three in a very, very exciting ball game. Parrish misses. Well, there's two of three that have been missed down the stretch drive here. That's the difference right there on that scoreboard. Uh, the shot now is good. So it's 110 to 108. Boston trails by two. 313 left as Darrell Walker brings it up. He's been a big part of this uh, comeback by Washington. All right, now Walker on the right. Williams is posting up on Bird. Now quickly it goes out to King. Uh, quick move by King in the lane. He misses the shot. The rebound by Williams is good. Again, not protecting the defensive boards, and Washington getting another second opportunity. All right, now DJ with the ball. DJ looks. DJ taking his man to the right. Uh, goes to Bird. Bird gets stripped. A four on one break and King gets the layup 114 to 108 to score Boston wants a timeout there are less than three minutes to play 231 to be exact this place is Bedlam and the place is going nuts as well they should because these kids have looked very good all right with two minutes of 31 and that may be taking its effect here our DJ brings the ball up to the right. Now he goes to the top. They got to make up six points. And they get it in the bird. Bird is triple team. Left handed by Bird is no good. No call. A lot of contact. No call. All right, now Walker with the ball. Walker looks. Walker goes to the left. 207 left. Now Walker fiddling and diddling. And they want to get the ball to Bernard. He has been the catalyst. He and, and Roberts are changing belts. All right, now Bernard has it. He drops it off. Bird steals it. Now, that's encouraging right there. DJ wants everybody to shape up. Now, quickly, it goes to Danny. Takes a three-pointer. It's no good. Roberts gets the rebound. Back over to DJ underneath on the right baseline of Powers. Powers goes. He has a move. He, makes, he misses. And they are a little helter-skelter. Bernard King comes out of there, goes to Williams, and Williams gets stripped. 
Now it goes down court to Bird. Bird gets nailed. Gets nailed by Darrell Walker. And I don't know if they're going to call that. Sure. Call foul on Darrell Walker. Yes, Trying to get up there and get that ball from Larry Bird. And he made the contact. And Larry will get to at the line. But that was the only move that Darrell Walker had to yeah, make. Because right. if he doesn't, it's touchdown. I'm looking for an intentional, but I don't get it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I think you're asking for a little too much, John. No, well, I can ask. <laughs> I may not get it, but I can ask. What's wrong with asking? <laughs> All right, well, Bird is going to go to the line. A lot of time was wasted with a lot of helpless skelter of basketball, which neither team cashed in. That doesn't do Boston any good. They're trading. They were trading bad plays, actually. That's what they were doing. And they were. And uh, a minute clicked off. They started this with 231 left, and it's 129 left now, and nothing has been accomplished, nothing on either side. So Bird has a chance to cut into the lead right now, but they've lost a very valuable minute. The shot now is good. And, and the poor percentage shots, the shots they were taking. Danny tried a three-pointer, and he pulled up a good two, two and a half feet behind the three-point line. All right, the shot now is good. Uh, Bird cuts it now to four. 114 to 110. They're pressing. And now Williams loses the ball. The he ball. lost the ball. He dribbles it off his own foot. They harassed. They had Darren Day in there to pick up on him. After he beat one man, Day appeared out of nowhere. He lost the ball off his own foot. Bird was the guy that was all over him. He was the guy that was pressing him. All right, now DJ with the ball. DJ gets it into Robert. He's got it. Space and he lays it up and in. Now it's down to two. Up faked on Moses Malone and then just turn to the pivot foot and put it up. All right, Darrell Walker trying to beat Danny. And he's still on the backcourt. Now he comes up. 105 left. And they switch on him. Now quickly he goes to the left sideline. Boston is trailing by two. Less than a minute to play in a ball game. Underneath it goes quickly over to Bernard. Bernard and Bernard hits. So the lead is four. 53 seconds left on the right sideline. It is Darren Day. In the pivot, it goes quickly over to Bird. He ducks his head. He throws it in. 47 seconds left. They trail by two. The pass in now quickly. Went through Williams. He got rid of it in a hurry over to Walker. Walker takes it down the sideline. Walker fiddles and diddles. And being double teamed. 35 seconds left. And now quickly it goes underneath the center for King of Stolen. Darren Day got in there, and DJ picked it off. On the right now, it goes to Bird. Bird fires, hit, and Jess Kersey says no. As he said, a timeout was called. Bird is down on his hands and knees. He jumped in a three-pointer, and it won't count. Timeout with 24 seconds remaining in our score. Of the Bullets, 116. Celtics, 114. And up the floor, and Bird, with daylight, put up the three-pointer from the sideline. It went, but it won't count because the timeout was indeed called. The heartbreak of the whole thing is that that would have put them up by one. They're down two. The three would have put them up by one, and there would have been 24 seconds left. Of course, uh, that means that uh, Washington would have had a full cycle in which to... Uh, uh, you know, uh, get the game winner, but uh, who knows what happens in a situation like that. All right, now Danny goes quickly over to DJ. 14 on the shot clock, 13. Now Bird has it outside. Bird gets the pick. Goes cross court. Now to Danny on the left side. He goes in a step. And it. That ties it up. Eight seconds left. Danny tied it up. Oh, my, we got a doozer here. I'm telling you, we got a one hell of a ball game. This one has been a great game in the second half. Danny was ready to take that three-pointer. He was lined up behind the red stripe, faked it because the defense came out on him, up faked, and then took the two-pointer, ties it. Eight seconds remaining, timeout. All right, here's the situation. Eight seconds remain in regulation. We're all tied up. Celtics 116, Bullets 116. Bullets have the ball, and they're going to inbound in their front court. All right, John Williams with the ball to play. Bird is guarding him, and he can't get it in yet. Now he does. He goes to Malone on a top pass from Walker, and Malone hits it. That took one second. Got fouled That's too, John. Second. He got fouled as well, so he's going to get a free throw. Celtics immediately call a timeout. That's a perfect play. 
Inbounding pass on the right baseline to Darrell Walker, who immediately feeds the ball to Moses Malone. Wide open underneath. And Walker got there, got there off the pick. And that's how he got there. They, they all moved, and Walker suddenly broke free along the baseline on the right side. And, uh... Well, he was there on the inbounding pass. Nobody picked up on him. We're looking at the replay now. Nobody was near him. He was wide open on that baseline, and nobody ever picked that's up on him. That's incredible. That's incredible. That's right. That is incredible. And a perfect play by Walker because he slapped past uh, the ball right to Malone. I thought he got there by a pick because I saw all that movement going on as they try to clear, and I figured Walker got there by a pick, but no, you're right. He was absolutely free. People almost ignored him. He could have taken that shot really himself, but Moses, of course, a higher percentage shot. Oh, Moses hits. That gives him a three-point lead, and that puts Boston to the back with the backs to the wall. They got to go for a three-point play or or a very quick basket and uh, then hope to get the ball back. They're going for three, I'm sure. Seven seconds remaining. Timeout score. Washington 190. Jones too happy tomorrow morning. No. As Darrell Walker was wide open and looking at the uh, the replay of it, Dennis Johnson was the only one back guarding both Darrell Walker and Moses Malone who had set up shop right underneath. Everybody else was out playing the passing lane. Bird had shut off the left sideline completely on the passer. And now uh, Boston has to take another timeout. No, that time I think uh, Kevin Loggery did. He wanted to see who Boston was going to pit uh, out there on the floor. Well, the timeout has been taken, and uh, it's a 20-second timeout. And they're going to put Connor Henry out there as well. So what they'll do is... Um, see, let's see. We're going to have Connor Henry, uh, Danny Ainge, and uh, Bird will be out there, you know, and... Uh, that gives them uh, three three-point bomber deers. Robert Parrish and DJ. Uh, that'll be the contingent. So it's basically the starting five with Henry in there in place of Roberts. That's who it is. Yep. That's who it is. All right. Uh, all the three-point shooters are receivers. As DJ is going to put the pass in. Crowd is standing up. It goes now to Bird. Bird goes up top. And up top. A three-point field goal for Bird. Four seconds left. He hits it. And it's all tied up again. My goodness. And we got another timeout. There's no question. There is our miraculous play. Unless something else miraculous happens in this ball game. They got Bird out deep. He was covered, double teamed. He broke loose as he took it to the right, spun around, put it up, jumping over that red three-point stripe. Amazing, they had two men on Bird, and he got loose, and he unloaded, and he hit. Timeout, four seconds remaining. We're all tied at 119. I'll be right over. I'll be right over. Comforting words when you have a problem. The trouble is, in today's computer age society, you don't hear these words much anymore. Not from the doctor, not from the TV repairman. In fact, there's really only one person you can count on to say, I'll be right over. And that's your qualified fuel oil dealer. He's always there, at all hours, in all kinds of weather. When you have a problem, you expect your qualified fuel oil dealer to say, I'll be right over. And he won't disappoint you. Maybe he works hard for you because there's competition. Heating oil isn't sold by big utilities. It's sold by local independent dealers who depend on satisfied customers, full-service dealers who care enough to keep your heating system at peak efficiency, and who are always on call. I'll be right over service. You know there's not a better buy than safe, clean oil heat, the intelligent choice. For the qualified fuel oil dealer in your area, call 1-800-OIL-HEAT. Brought to you by your qualified fuel oil dealers of Massachusetts. 2.30 Friday afternoon, Education Secretary William Bennett calls President Reagan asking for the withdrawal of Douglas Ginsburg's nomination to the Supreme Court. Bennett offers to call Ginsburg on behalf of the President. The President replies, do what you think best. At 3.30, Bennett calls Ginsburg, urging him to withdraw his name. 90 minutes later, WEEI reports exclusively on both conversations and their consequences. On top of the world, around the clock, News Radio 590, WEEI. Darren Day with a big, tough assignment because Bernard King is in the ballgame. And uh, they all got tough assignments. They got to do it. 
Bird taking a passer. And Robert Parrish harasses the pass out of bounds. It was intended for Moses. Yeah, Robert Moses had to come out because everybody else was covered. He came out to try and help out because they were about to lose the ball on the, on the second count. One second ticks off. Three seconds remaining. All right, now Moses gets the ball, loses the ball, throws it up wildly, and that ends the ball game. And it's going to go into overtime. It hit the rim, but it hit it hard. It really didn't have much of a chance of going in. Well, Moses tried to get that first shot off, and he was tied up. And I think that the Washington at that time was looking for the foul. They did not get it. Moses got loose, and he took that shot hard. Well, he also the wanted, he wanted to get the ball up off the rim because he, he figured if, if, if I can do that, I have a shot, a, a, a shot at the rebound. Right. And All right. Uh, he's so tough on the rebound. We're going to OT in only the second game of the season at the end of regulation. Our score of the Celtics, 119, and the Washington Bullets, 119. News Radio 590 WEEI is the first station on your dial and the first thing. Shop now and let Goodyear Value take you home. Glenwood Way and Johnny Moss back here in Landover, Maryland as we get set for overtime. These two ball clubs, Washington and Boston, tied at 119 apiece in regulation. All right, it's going to be Parrish and Malone on the jump. Parrish is in there with DJ Bird, Ainge, and Day. And now the tip is controlled by Washington. John Williams, Darrell Walker, Jeff Malone, Moses Malone, and Bernard King. All right, on the right now, quickly it goes over to Walker, back up top now to King. He gets a pick, he goes behind it, he goes to the baseline, he throws it up. It is in and out, and the rebound goes to Day. He flicks it out over to DJ. On the break, it goes to Ainge. And Ainge gets nailed. He's still got a shot off, though. As he was grabbed by Jeff Malone, he spun that ball up. It didn't go in, but at least he got a shot off, and he could have possibly had a three-point play. I think you give Darren Day credit for that. He was the guy that pitched that ball up immediately and got the extra man up the floor and got the break. Well, all right, Danny was uh, cruising in and hits the free throw. Ah, oh, that puts Boston out in front. And make it by two. 121 to 119 to score. All right. 433 left to play. All right. It goes now on the sideline of Malone. Malone has a notion. He goes for a drive. He throws it up. It is a bad shot. Bird gets the, the rebound. There wasn't any rebound. The quick out pass is stolen by John Williams. Bird just picked it off, but Williams stole it. All right. Williams goes in and ties it up. Took it home himself. Boy, Larry has had some turnovers. He's got 38 points, but he's had some turnovers as well. 121, 121 the score. All right, now DJ with the ball. On the right, it goes over to Day. Back up top now, quickly over to Parrish. On the left now to DJ. DJ holding the ball. Less than four minutes to play in the overtime. 355, Parrish, baseline. The rainbow, no good. The cut ball comes out to King. King starting a break. On the cut now, it goes to Maloney. Oh. was traveling. Three on two break, and still... Bernard King is electing to give it to Moses on the wing, and I, twice he's done that now in this ball game, and twice he's got burned with that traveling violation. On, you know, on the fly, Moses will frequently do that. He's just out of sync a little bit, and, uh, uh, you know, he uh, can't handle that situation as well as he does other situations. Now, Bird misses the shot, then he captures the rebound, takes it back out, goes to Bird again. He's in jail, and up top it goes to Day. Back to Bird. Bird is on the left sideline, being guarded by Williams. Fakes, drives, spins, gets a pick, comes into the lane, shoots over Moses. He's got it. Oh, set up the isolation on the left side. Of course, the isolation slightly different this year. 123, 121 to score. 310 left to play. On the left now, Darrell Walker with the ball, holds it. And bottled up by Danny. Now quickly it goes into King. King throws it up and in. 23 for Bernard King now. Pulled up after a drive and uh, just hit it. Less than three minutes to play in the overtime. 2.50 to be exact. DJ has the ball. Our DJ takes it to the right. Bird on a pop out. Gets the pass. Throws it up. It is no good. Parrish has the rebound. Moses has the rebound. It goes to Williams. Now Walker has it. Walker takes it to the left. 2.35 left. All right. Walker is fiddling and diddling. 
Howe holds the ball, and Danny dares him from the outside. He doesn't take the dare. He goes to Moses. Moses wants to throw it up himself, and hit. Facing up. 125 to 123 to score. Boston trails by two. All right, up top it is DJ. DJ with 214 left, takes it up top. And now goes to Danny. Walker is right in Danny's shirt. Now it goes into Robert. Robert up fakes and throws it up and in. He had that ties it up again. He had Moses Malone totally out of position on the up fake. He lost him somewhere. All right, less than two minutes to play in the, in the overtime. 155 to be exact. And Darrell Walker is fiddling and diddling. A lot of banging going on. Now King has it, and King being guarded by two of them. Up top it goes now to Jeff Malone. He goes into the lane, misses the shot. The rebound by Moses is good. 28 now for Moses. 127 to 125. We're seeing a ball game and a half. There's no question about that. What a great one this is. A real wing dinger, a doozer. On the left of the key. Danny. Now back out to DJ it goes. They're just to the left of the key. 125 left, now Danny has it. Danny steps back, Danny drives, Danny's in the lane, throws it up, it is no good. He's gonna go to the line, Darrell Walker fouled him, and of course he didn't do it. But see, Walker's one of these guys who hasn't committed a foul in four years. Well, Oscar Robertson went an entire career without committing one, so. Oh, for about, four, Dar about, about 14 years. That's amazing, isn't it? Nice drive by Danny Ainge, protecting the ball with the body, and Darrell Walker committing the foul. Henry Bibby went nine years. <laughs> the shot is good. All right, Danny again. And he hits it. All tied up with a minute 20 left. Here's Darrell Walker. Up over the line to the left, guarded by Danny. On the left it goes now quickly over to Jeff Malone. Now back into Bernard King, double team. Bernard takes him outside. Cross court it goes to Jeff Malone. And a kick ball goes out of bounds. It was kicked out by DJ. Celtics continue to double the ball right now, putting the pressure on there, forcing them to make that bad pass or pick up the pace a little bit. All right, now the ball would be put into play by Bernard. It goes to Williams. Back over to Walker. And less than a minute to play here in the overtime. It's all tied up, 127 to 127. Ah, uh, Walker up top now to Jeff Malone. Back over to Walker on the left sideline. And Parrish steals the ball. It goes to Bird. It was intended for Malone, and it goes. Parrish stole it. It went to Bird. On the left now it goes to DJ. Takes the shot. It's gone. It has gone, and Boston leads. 129 to 127. 39 seconds left, and Kevin Lockery takes the timeout. Larry Bird says that he loves to see that ball in Dennis Johnson's hands when the game is on the line. Bird, long cross-court pass. 39 seconds remaining right now. The Celtics on top by two. 129 to 127. They have a foul to give up here. All right, Darrell Walker over the line to the left, and guarded by Ainge. Walker fiddling and diddling on the left side, wants to get the ball to King. He does get the ball to King, and King ties it up. Now there are 26 seconds left. All right, DJ, taking the ball up. It's all tied up again. It's 129 to 129. Clock is down to 17. Celtics are going to call a timeout. Right. Celtics are calling a timeout, and there are 12 seconds on the shot clock, 15 overall. What they want to do right now, John, I think, is waste as much time. There's a difference in the shot clock to the game clock of three seconds. And what I think they want to do, wearing the green. 129, 129, 15 seconds remaining. Celtics will send out the same five. Parrish, Bird, Day, P.J., Ainge. Jeff Malone, King, Walker, Moses below, John Williams for the Bullets. Here we go, 15 seconds. All right, Danny getting ready to put the ball on the play. It goes over to DJ. And DJ looks. Shot clock is down to eight. Now he gets it over to Darren Day, drops it down to four. Bird has it. Bird's driving. Bird got nailed. Bird's going to the line. Four seconds left to go in a ball game in the overtime. They did exactly what they wanted to do. They let the clock tick down, waste as much time as you can so that you force Washington, when they get the ball, they're going to have to rush up a shot. 
And whose hands do you want the ball in with about five seconds left on that shot clock? Number 33. You know he's going to do something. They overplayed him. They had the double team. What did he do? He drew the foul. He wow. knew that was the only option he had. They got to be scared to death. When, when Larry Bird is on the floor, just like when Magic is on the floor, I mean, you got to be scared to death when it's down like this, four seconds to go in the overtime. And if that guy, whether it's Bird or it's Magic or a guy like Kareem, if they have the ball, you've got to be scared to death if you're rooting the other way. All right, the shot is good by Bird. That puts him up by one with four seconds left on the clock, and he's got another one coming. He's got 41 points in the ball game. All right, Bird dips, shoots, switch. 131 to 129. Lockery wants to set up a play. We got another timeout. In our post game, we'll be check checking all of the other action for you in the NBA tonight. Of course, we'll be running down all of the uh, numbers in this ball game, and this has been a wild one. Some guests appearing on Celtics basketball received gift certificates from Joseph's Aquarium Restaurant. Great seafood on the waterfront, 101 Atlantic Avenue in Boston. For the Celtics, they'll travel back to Boston tomorrow and then early Monday morning fly out to New York City for a Monday night encounter with Rick Pitino's New York Knickerbockers. But right now, they own a two-point lead with four seconds remaining, and this game is far from over. The way that the Bullets have been able to uh, generate offense in this game. And I think that if you're looking for the driving force late in this ball game, mainly Moses Malone, Bernard King, and an asterisk for Darrell Walker. Well, you know, on our dream game tape, okay, uh, usually the hero steals the ball right about here. So you, you, you're, you're anticipating that? Yeah, well, yeah, well, John, you don't understand. We write the scripts for those. <laughs> we don't know the script for this one. Well, write it, will you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is that uh, automatically, uh, I would think that Boston is going to apply the pressure, but they've got to be very careful not to commit that foul. Well, the pressure well, wait a minute, hold on, hold on for just a second, John, because I'm looking at the clock right now. They have got one foul to give up, so away from the ball now, they could afford to give up a foul. They could afford to give up a foul. Washington will move the ball up half court. Other time out. The Celtics may elect right here. Well, if that if that is accurate, if that is accurate, that's probably what they're going to do. Let two seconds go off or a second go off and then commit the foul away from the ball. Got to do it away from the ball, though. All right, now they're trying to put the ball on a play. Oh, wide open it is Darrell Walker. He gets a shot up and he has it. Again, can you believe this? And once again, Darrell Walker got free. He got free this time in the left corner. I don't know how, but twice now in big plays, Darrell Walker has got wide open. He was moving as the inbounding pass came into play. He jumped into the corner, took it, and immediately put it up. He wasn't far in front of that three-point line, John. This could have easily been a three-point play. He was standing right about the white stripe, which is the college three-point play. Had he been back a good step, this ball game might have been over. He, he came off a pick, and there, there wasn't a switch. He came off a pick, and there was no switch. That's exactly and that's how he got was. free. And uh, uh, he got free in the left corner and uh, threw it up. I mean, he had nothing else to do. I mean, he couldn't take a bounce. He couldn't go to the hoop. He just had to let it fly, and he let it fly, and let it fly very accurately, and it went in. Unlike, well, now, the, unlike uh, the dream game, we did not have the steal. <laughs> <laughs> One second left. Boy, this sets up a dream game, doesn't it? Well, this has been a phenomenal ball game, and uh, to happen this early in the season, uh, the interesting thing is when you look back in this ball game in retrospect, I don't think the Celtics really played a good ball game tonight. They have had their moments. They have had big plays when they needed big plays. Overall, this has not been a fine showing. They've been forced into a lot of half-court stuff. They didn't run the ball well. They didn't push the ball. They weren't doing the things that they were attempting to do this season, get that transition game in gear. But they've come up with the big plays. They well, need I, another one, and we're going into second overtime. I think that Washington has a lot to do with that. Washington was playing very uh, superb basketball and uh, getting them as much out of their, their troops as they possibly could. And I think that had a lot to do with it. All right. 
Guess who should be getting the ball? All right, Connor Henry's in the ball game Ooh. as well. But guess who should be getting the ball? As uh, T.J. will once again put the pass in. A very, very, very good passer. Good shooters out there. Somebody has just called another timeout. Kevin Lockery wanted to once again check and see who they were going to put out on the floor. And the only change they made was Connor Henry for Darren Day, giving them that uh, three-point uh, Bob, give him the outside range. Forget three points. They don't need three points right now. But he has the outside range, and that's all you're going to have time for. You're going to have time for an inbounding pass and a quick shot, a quick release. You're going to have to unload it very quickly. When I was uh, sick, you were in Phoenix, and that's what Bird did, didn't he? Absolutely. It was an inbounding pass from half court. Cedric Maxwell inbounded it, and it happened right on the sideline, right in front of the scores table in the exact same position where the ball is right now. Maxwell inbounded it, Bird double team just put it up, and he was no more than three or four feet from the sideline and out deep. That was a, a good 28-30 feet. Ah, uh, this reminds me very much of the uh, of the overtimes that uh, I saw against the St. Louis Hawks and, uh, you know, in the playoffs back in 57 that the Celtics won. They kept trading heroics. And uh, the same thing in, uh, with the Phoenix series in 76, the triple overtime game in the Boston Garden, the double overtime game in the Boston Garden that the Celtics lost against the uh, Bucks. Uh, you know, there have been a, a number of them. Then there was a fabulous one where the Celtics got a hoop with one second left, or two seconds left on the clock, and every and the clock, the, the, the score, of, uh, the timekeeper let the clock run. This was in Seattle. And so, if you remember now, they had to walk a long way to get to their dressing room. And they suddenly discovered that there were two seconds left, and the Celtics had to come way back out, had to come back out onto the floor and uh, play the final two seconds. And Dick Snyder hit one at the buzzer that oh. won the game. Uh, you must have been real pleased at the, uh, the timekeeper. <laughs> sure, you had some nice things to say about that gentleman. <laughs> I had some nice things to say about a lot of people. Our bird is trying to wrestle clear. He does wrestle clear. He lets it go. Oh, it hits the rim, but it doesn't go in. And I think 10,000 people had heart attacks here. Well, that was oh, awfully my, close. that was close. He hit the iron on the same side that he was shooting. It went up and did not go in. And he's complaining to Jess Kersey that uh, he had a body all over him in the process. I do not think, unless it is a real blatant foul, are you going to get an official to make that call? Just simply not going to happen. I am shocked, John, that we I'll are tell seeing... You, the, only, the only time a thing like that does happen where they make the call is if the guy has uh, the chance to get a shot and because of the body being draped on him, he never gets it off. Right. Then they're going to say, well, you've got to give him a chance to get it off. If he gets it off, they, they won't call a foul. All right, we keep it here as we get set for a second overtime on only our second game of the 87-88 season. We're all even at 131-131. We were tied at 119 apiece at the end of regulation, and we continue onward. Ten guys. Well, Boston has, has alternated a Darren Day, uh, Connor Henry, and now Fred Roberts is going to come into the ball game on that spot. But basically, we've seen the same 10 or 11 guys out there on the floor through the last five, six minutes of regulation and through that first overtime. Let's see if they start dragging right now. Let's see if it's noticeable. In the Washington, fact has all, Washington has been alternating uh, Terry Catledge and John Williams, too. And uh, right now, Terry Catledge is the guy who's in there. All right, DJ has the tip from Parrish and uh, brings it up. He's, uh, he's in there along with Parrish Bird. Fred Roberts and uh, Danny Ainge. All right, DJ has the ball, holds it. He wants to get to Parrish. He gets it to Parrish. Parrish throws it up. It is no good. There was a foul. It's going to be on Bernard King on the switch. Moses Malone came up to pick up on Larry Bird, and that left Bernard King to guard Robert Parrish. They were looking to feed him. They did, and he got shoved from behind by King. All right, now DJ has the ball. DJ goes out to the right to Danny. Uh, on the right sideline, it goes to Fred. Fred holds the ball, just holds it, goes into the foul line. And throws a bad pass that is deflected out of bounds. Boston gets the ball back. Shot clock is down to 14. It's amazing with all the physical stuff we've had. Nobody's fouled out yet, John. All right, now quickly uh, a tap pass goes back to Bird. Now to DJ. DJ fires, misses. The rebound goes quickly over to Darrell Walker. He's been a force here in the extra, the extra moments of play. All right, now quickly it goes into Malone, and he misses the shot. And... 
The ball is knocked out of bounds. Robert Parrish had the rebound, and somebody pulled him down to the floor and uh, knocked the ball out of bounds. Well, no call on that one, but it looked like uh, somebody pulled him down to the floor as he was going up and looking at the replay. Uh, no, no, good call. Robert simply fell. Catledge was there challenging him, but never pulled him down. All right, now quickly it goes over to Fred. Fred gets back up top now to Robert Parrish. Moses knocks the ball loose. They get it to Bird. Bird between his legs, fires, misses. Rebound fought for, Moses has it. And Moses now gives to Darrow Walker. He's in there along with Moses, Bernard, Jeff Malone, and Terry Catledge. All right, Walker takes it over the line to the left side line, guarded by Ainge, and uh, gets it in now to be over to Moses, gets it back, and takes the shot and misses. The rebound comes out to the foul line. DJ has it, goes to Danny. Danny changes direction, goes in, and, and they call a charge. And he was going laterally. A good Stanislavski by Jeff Malone because Danny was going laterally, and Jeff Malone cut him off, and that was not a, an offensive foul. No, I don't think he ever planted himself. I think he still was in the, trying to get into a position, but as you said, a great acting job, and sometimes you can pull those off. All right, less than four minutes to play, 317 to be exact. Now Terry Catledge feeds into Moses Malone. His turnaround is no good. The rebound grabbed by Danny Ainge. He bluffs the down court pass, takes it up himself. Goes to the right, 305. Uh, and it goes into Parrish, and Parrish stops the ball. Oh. And they call that an offensive foul. So that hoop is taken away. That's going to be the fifth two on Robert Parrish. So that causes some problems for the Celtics. Oh, my. Uh, Darrell Walker takes it over the line to the left. Less than three minutes to play here in the second overtime. Walker's in the circle. He's guarded by Ainge. Now back over to Jeff Malone. Malone rushes the chop and draws the foul. Now it's 131, 131, 248 to be exact. And left in the second overtime. Jeff Malone will go to the line. That's now the fifth personal foul on Dennis Johnson. So Robert and DJ with five apiece. All right, now Jeff Malone puts them ahead. 132, 131. We went two minutes and 12 seconds without either team scoring in the second overtime before that free throw. And now the shot is good. So now the Bullets lead by two. 133 to 131. All right, DJ with the ball. DJ brings it down the right sideline. Up top it goes to Fred. Fred looking carefully. Still got it. On the right it goes to Danny. Danny got nailed by Walker. He doesn't call. They don't call it. Danny turns, shoots, and yes! Boy, that was... Walker was right in his face. That was... 133, 133, 225 left. Walker call... over the line to the left, and they call a timeout. That was not what you call a high percentage shot. And I don't believe Danny was aware of how much time was remaining on the clock. It was about uh, 10 seconds. But I think that was the fear he had. It seemed like a lot of time. Well... I, don't, I, I can't explain it. I have no idea why. <laughs> there are a few arenas, by the way. This is not the only one that has the 24-second uh, clock up uh, that high. They do, by the way, which is a plus, have both the 24-second clock and the game clock on that same board. All right, Bernard King, they're already over the line. It goes into Jeff Malone. And Malone walks it halfway down. Now he has an ocean. He goes in for a drive and gets lost control of the ball, throws a foul. That may be on Robert. Yep, that's it. He fouls out. Puts a little pressure on Casey. He's got to come up with a change. What does he do? Does he go with Acres? Go with Acres or Low House? I mean, uh, who is he going to go with? I have no idea. Go with Acres. He's gone with Acres. Is right. He could also have gone with Fred, but uh, he elects to go with Acres because Acres is uh, a little bit more physical than either one of the other two. At this point, I think that's what you need. Well, the other thing is he's a good offensive rebounder, and that's something else they're looking for right now. All right, now Jeff Malone hits the free throw. 134-133. He hasn't had a shabby ball game either. 24 points. And the shot is good. And he's hit about four free throws right under the gun. Four of them. Exactly. 
135-133 the score. All right, now DJ with the ball. Boston is trailing by two. And Bird gives it back to DJ. Now it goes to Day. Less than two minutes to go here in the second overtime. It goes into Bird. Bird throws it up and in. He got fouled. Great piece he of got fouled, and that could be an opportunity to make the odd score here and get Boston a one-point lead. It's going to be on Bernard King. Post-up move by Larry Bird. Bernard screaming immediately at Jess Kersey. Bird comes out, swings into the pivot, and backing up, and Bernard King was just leaning the body on him and did a great acting job, and it got called the other way. All right, now, Larry Bird will go to the line and get one free throw, and Bernard comes out. Is he, did he foul out, or is he just being taken out? Taken out. Uh, see, I think that's where he made his mistake, John. He made his mistake by doing a great acting job. I don't think they would have called the foul either way had he knocked on that ball. All right, Bird misses, and Danny got the rebound, and Bird got it hung up on his back and lost it. So they don't get the advantage of that point. All right, Darrell Walker takes it over the line to the right sideline, guarded by Danny, and goes now to the left of the key. And Moses Malone and Mark Akers putting on a war, and Moses Moses the ball out of bounds. Akers all over him. Akers was trying to switch position to front him, and Moses sensed that, and that's where he lost position on the ball. All right, now it's all tied up. Minute and a half left. DJ with the ball. DJ looks, fiddles and diddles. Gets Bird. Hallery is all over him. Danny got bounced out of the whole thing. Now it goes into Bird. Double teamed immediately. He ducks his head. He goes back out now to DJ. Now to Danny. Danny lets it fly. That's caught! A three-point fail goal by Danny Hayes! All right, now Darrell Walker. Takes it over the line to the middle as uh, DJ had an ocean and uh, Walker did not try to start a five on four on him. DJ got uh, hung up on the uh, attempted steal, but they did try to start a five on four. All right, Jeff Malone going into the lane, throws it up. It is good. Boston still has a one point lead, 138 to 137. And there are less than a minute to play, 50 seconds left. All right, DJ with the ball. The Celtics trying to protect that one-point lead. Add to it if they can. On the left, it goes to Darren Day. All right, Day goes back out to Bird. He goes to the foul line, and they knock it loose. It goes back to Darren Day, and they call Bird for up and down, and so he lost the ball. That was a good play by Mark Allery. Certainly was. Allery got the hands all over Larry Bird, and he could not get that shot off, and Larry tried to change what he wanted to do in midstream and get the ball out to Darren Day. And that's when he left the floor and then came back down again with Allery never touching the basketball. That's a turnover. And suddenly with 35 seconds left, the Bullets have the ball. They're down by one. All right. Now let's see what we got. We got uh, the Bullets with the ball. Mark Allery gets it over to Darrell Walker. Takes it over the line to the to the right of the key, guarded by Ames. And fiddling and diddling. Cross court on the left, it goes down to Jeff Malone. It looks like he travels. He throws it up, it's no good. Rebound grabbed by Bird. 20 seconds left. They'll let it run. All right, now quickly, Bird has the ball again. He slap passes over to Danny, gets it back. And it's down to 12. Back to Mark Akers, and Mark Akers goes to the hoop and got fouled. And he got fouled by Moses. And the pressure right now, Lies on the rookie, Mark Akers. They elected not to foul Bird as Boston went into the four corners. Bird got it out deep around the timeline, and they elected not to foul Bird, figuring that maybe he'd make that pass. He did to Akers on the baseline, and Moses Malone fouled him. Uh, the shot by Akers is off the rim. It's no good. Uh, that's going to give uh, Washington another chance, because if he makes this one, uh, it'll be a two-point lead. Let's see what happens. The rookie is at the line. What a spot for a rookie to be in. He shoots and he misses, and the rebound goes quickly over to Catledge, and they call for an immediate timeout. Clock is down to seven. Well, I put a lot of pressure well, these on are the everybody right now as uh, uh, Boston has only a one-point lead. Mark Akers uh, had a shot at it. He's a rookie, and he missed both. Well, these are the things that uh, we've been talking about with the rookies. You get uh, very excited about the kids because they have great promise, but you've got to understand they are going to make mistakes. They're going to have the jitters, and there's no doubt in my mind that the butterflies were doing a lot of dancing 
as Mark Akers went to the line for those two free throws. And well, he hit hard off the rim. I'll tell you, maybe, maybe the butterfly should have taken the shot. But uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you don't want to knock Mark Akers for this because this kid has uh, made his contributions in this ball game and the, and the game we saw the uh, last night also because the kid is a worker. He really is a worker. No, I think there's no question about that. I, you know, the, the, but the, the fans, I think, sometimes go a little overboard with the rookies and forget that they are rookies. They are first-year players, and they're playing against veterans, seasoned veterans who do not have the butterflies flying out there. And... Uh, they make mistakes. There's no question about it. Seven hey, seconds. this kid has to go uh, to the line with eight seconds left to play in a double overtime. And uh, protecting a one-point lead, a very, a very tough situation, even for a veteran. But uh, for a rookie, it's almost impossible. Well, smart move by the Washington Bullets not to commit that uh, foul on uh, Larry Bird out of the corner and to wait until Bird would pass him. They put the pressure on Larry but they never got to the point where Allery was going to commit that foul. He waited until Bird was going to dish that ball off. Got it to Akers on the baseline, and Moses Malone immediately went and cracked him. Oh, no, I think Boston still has uh, one to give, doesn't, don't they? Um, in the bonus situation, they have one to give, yes. Yeah, they do have one to give, so that could work well for them. All right, the crowd is up. Got to watch out for Darrell Walker. We've learned that by now. Uh, they're going to do it from already over the line. They're already over the line. And Mark Allery is putting the ball on a play. And it goes to Moses. Moses heads for the hoop. Throws it up. He's got it. Time out. Oh, that puts them out in front by one. And now Boston has two seconds in which to get a shot off. Akers went for the steal on Moses Malone as they got that inbounding pass. He went for the ball. And once he did that, Moses just turned, looking to pass. DJ, or rather Darren Day, up on him. And Moses decided on taking the diagonal drive to the hole and put it up and in and gives Washington a one-point lead with two seconds remaining. And we know where the ball's going right now, right? Uh, I got a feeling. Yep. Now, I have a feeling that... Uh... Ball's going to go to number 33, but I'll tell you, Kevin Lockery knows where it's going also. And, and, uh, and with that, that may change who it ends up, uh, whose hands it yeah, ends if, up if, in. If he goes overboard on the uh, double coverage right away, uh, if he tries to put a bird in a box uh, and keep the ball from him, I think you may see one of the shooters getting it. You know, it could very well be. Well, Double them up, and uh, maybe one of the shooters pops loose and uh, squares up, and uh, be a good place for a guy like Seasting, too. What they have done is they have tried that uh, double team on Bird, and Larry's been able to get the, the shot off of this situation twice so far in this ball game. One went in, one did not, and he was able to wheel off that double team and get some daylight. All right, let's see what we got. Here's the picture. Double overtime, two seconds left. The Bullets lead by one, 139 to 138. We've seen a fantasy game, a dream game. We've seen the league go back and forth, back and forth, you know, and I think most of the seesaws have uh, occurred when it's been less than a minute to play. They have. Matter of fact, both teams have had trouble scoring in the first two, two and a half minutes of each one of the overtime periods, and then they have uh, put up some points on the board. Connor Henry will check in. Fred Roberts is in, so Boston's got some guys who can put the ball in the hole right now. All right, Ainge is going to put the ball in the play. And where do we go? Right, it's going to go to Bird. He's got a shot. Get it. And he's got it. It's a three-point fail goal. And that's that. It's all over. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? He hit a three-pointer with no time on the clock, and they win the ball game. They only give him two. 